We are back! Your turn to die! Yeah, we bring in the energy! We bring in the power! We stay hungry! We devour! I'm sorry, that's a funny meme. Let me tell you guys something. I love proving you wrong. You know, because a lot of you said, oh, he's not gonna finish it. He's not gonna finish it. But you said the same thing about Amori, huh? You probably said the same thing about Dong and Rapa. Here we are. Actually, I do wanna say I'm sorry. I took a very long time to play more. There is no excuse. Go watch last episode. It'll pop up right now. It's a good series. And that's why I want to finish it. Also, I've been getting a lot of sweet comments, uh, people uh, saying that, oh, uh, I don't want to watch anyone else play the game. I only want to watch you play it. So like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. I got to play some more. All right, so I have to jog, because it's been a few months, I have to jog my memory here. The last episode, we learned, I think, some secrets about So, and how he kind of has a double I uh, identity, sort of. And Sarah also went to like max 100% uh, percent on her, uh, or no, 0%, I should say, on her sanity meter. And she started seeing things. And that is where Gin confronted us and, and was like, oh, hey, it's gonna be okay. Gin, Gin really got us out. Gin's the homie. And that's when, and that's when Sarah pulls the whole um, uh, Makoto <laughs> hope. We got this. We're not gonna let the kidnappers win. So yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much remember uh, what's gone on so far. I know there's gonna be a lot more characters that I don't freaking know about, so... For now, uh, where are we headed? Uh, let's see. Uh, how about we question Melon Soda Lady about an exit? Uh, we'll make her cry for real with your co co coerciveness. Uh, come to think of it, didn't Safamlin retrieve Rio Ranger's body? If she found the chip, we could probably hurry, or should probably hurry. Are we really gonna... Are we really off to make uh, her cry? Yeah, why not? There's something on the ground. What's this, a video? This seems familiar. I know we hacked the computer as well. And also, like, we're still doing that chip game, so we gotta survive. And I, my, my, my memory may be fuzzy, but I'm getting back into it. A video of the prize exchange. Ah, yeah, so we did watch a bunch of videos as well. And there was characters that we'd never seen before that were, like, dying. This is the victim video that Nal brought, as I recall. It showed a woman in a police uniform uh, tied with up with chains. Yeah, with freaking, um, with KG, yeah. And in front of a man looking on a death trap is activated. I'm still super, like, I feel like there's, he's definitely, like, evil or something. From behind, the man looked just like KG, but did Bixis now drop this? Oh, why here? Obtain the victim video. A suspicious vending machine sits on the top of the stairs. I still can't believe Reko, though. That was crazy. Like, I don't know why I stopped playing this game. It's really interesting. I forgot why, why you do this. Why we got dog eyes or cat eyes. Sounds like a dog though. Very confusing. Oh, well that's new. I smell a weird smell. Wow, so like, Gin really does have animal powers. What the heck? What sort of smell? I don't know, give me some time. Well, you don't have time. Like, you figured it out. No, someone done pee peed on the floor? Dang, no respect at all. Ah, uh, Sarah and Gin, fix this now. What are you doing? I was just looking for Cephalin. Why? Uh, no particular reason. Okay. Uh, she wasn't here. Meow. <laughs> Dude, why do I read meow? <laughs> she has sort of a pleasant scent mixed with the smell of an art room. Uh, really? Definitely a scent that screams big sis now. Uh, you're embarrassing me. So you can actually, like, examine people with his smell. Hana is quietly conversing. Yeah, So really has done a lot to help us escape. They're talking about So. Um, shout loudly. Talk to her. Hana, are you okay? Yeah, I was just- I just wasn't feeling well earlier. Please sit down, by all means. Yeah, I'm fine. We were sitting here first. Then I'll sit on your lap, Sarah. Uh, no thanks. Anyway, what's this- okay, weird. Earlier, I went to the- uh, to return the laptop to So, and it looked like he was making progress on a plan to escape. Is that right? Get, get us on that! Was what she said really true? I'm sure So can come up with a way for us- uh, for us all to leave, so... So, <laughs> Uh, whatever rule, uh, card you have, it just doesn't matter, Sarah. I hope that's the case, because, man, those games are confusing. And it's probably just because I'm stupid. You know, that's natural, right? I'm stupid. But the games are a little more confusing than, like, other, you know, killing games. Alice is quietly listening to Kana. Such scary eyes, and yet he's talking with Kana. Talk to him. Oh, yeah. Obviously, after what happened to freaking Reko, man, uh, he hasn't been the same. Uh, Sarah Chidoin. For how blue in the face you were when you ran off, you're looking better now. So you were worried for me. Me? Worried? That's for someone more gullible, fool. Sarah Chido, and after you left, we did uh, continue to investigate the laptop, but there was no great information. I'm just letting you know. 
Thank you very much. More importantly, would you take my place as Kana Kazuichi's uh, conversation partner? She's treating me like, oh, like a friend uh, and has not forgotten I'm a murderer. I'm in a hurry, so. I like Alice, though. I don't know why. It's like they're a murderer, but they don't seem like a murderer. Because he seems more guilty about it than, like, all proud of it. Oh, now you answered it? It's like blood mixed with something burnt. So I guess we had to talk to someone else. What? Are you two okay? I think it's coming from that glass door. Behind this door. There should be that doll of him. I'll open it up. There was nothing inside. Uh, something's odd. When did that- where did the doll disappear to? Big Sis Sarah, there's a path in the back! Well, I, I saw that, yes. Uh, maybe Cephalon is through there too. Uh, should we go in? If you're going, I'll come- I'll come too. Yeah, we're going, come on. Proceed ahead, of course. Oh, I was like, everyone's here! <laughs> oh wait, there's more people in the back. Oh, are you actually gonna learn about the other survivors? Cause yeah, in the beginning of the game, I remember that like a lot of people, I think I think a few people died and we never got to see their faces. And that's what I assumed what was in the, the videos that we watched. Like creepy. Uh, don't tell me these are all dolls. There's even one that looks just like me. Ooh, and a mystery thing. I smell something further back too. It keeps going. Once we've searched here, I guess we'll go there. All right. I want to know about the these guys. On the left stand, numerous dolls, including ones of So Kutaro and the Professor Mishima. Even the loner gets a doll. That uh, makes me peeved. So, huh? The person in the photo on the laptop. Alice called him So. Just what reflection does the two So's have? Big says, Sarah, what do you think of the loner? The loner? I don't know. What So wants, what he's thinking. I feel there's something deep within him that I still don't know. Yeah, well, like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> On the right stand, numerous dolls, including uh, ones of Gin and Alice. Uh, like looking in a mirror. It just moved a little. Let's talk about that. It's just mo <laughs> What? Uh, just my imagination. You've got a mean look. Okay, what about me? In the middle stands, numerous dolls, including ones of myself. Uh, feels like they're start- they're gonna start talking to me any second. I don't think they're gonna start moving. There are even dolls of people we never met. Probably those that we already uh, made victims. Alright, so Gin wants to freaking scribble on them? Making a doll of me without my permission is infringing on my likeness! Not like our rights are being respected anyway. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't really be worried about that. I wanna know the mystery characters though. Oh... Ranger's head is sitting on a table. It was here. Uh, this is, uh, Ranger's corpse? Let's look for the chip. Oh yeah, so there was, yeah, yeah, we, I forgot about that, yeah, they had like a chip. Wait, uh, what's this chip like even? Uh, not good, I don't know anything about complex machinery like this. Dad? What? He talked! Gin, don't shout! Why now? Who's there? Please, leave at once! Cephalon, Miss Sarah! Uh, melon soda with a lousy taste. What's up with this woof? <laughs> so you regain consciousness, Ranger. So fallen? Gosh dang it. Why wouldn't you let me just die? Uh, yeah, you should just leave a bad guy like this alone. And yeah, don't tell me you want to fix him. What? I'm being fixed? There's no fixing you. Huh? Important parts of you have been destroyed. You have about 10 minutes left. D don't play games with me. Then why would you? In order to complete you. Complete? How much do you know about yourself, Ranger? I'm Dad's masterwork, Rio Ranger. That is not your real name. You are an incomplete creation. What? Gosh, you strongly uh, Im imbued, Im Im embed? You with a certain emotion. A certain emotion. I don't know. Inferiority? Yes, which I'll say, right. Which gave birth to jealousy and hatred. It could be said that it made you more human. And he discarded what you originally possessed. Discarded. Kindness, compassion, happiness. Nearly all of your positive emotions. Even with the mechanisms to create expressions, you can't create a heartfelt smile. Because he's got no heart. It was originally my job to insert it. Gosh, you handled the negative emotions and myself the positive emotions. 
but Gashu stopped me. Claiming that imperfection was more human, he rearranged you into a warped doll. No way. Now I will return your heart. I will perfect you to your true form. Stop it! Safalan begins working on the machine. Stop it! I mean, no one in this game tackles anyone. I don't understand that. Stop it, please! I don't need a heart, not now! I just need to die, but you? Stop! Stop! They're flowing in all the unwanted emotions. Jeez, what the heck? No, this isn't... Forgive me, just... You must know the extent of what we took from you. I don't want to know that. Now you will be perfected. So, I, I don't really know much about it, but... I don't know, maybe were they like human before? And so you're probably giving them some bad memories that they wanted to forget, I don't know. From the heartless doll, Rio Ranger, to the human with a heart, Rio Laser. Laser? Human? What have I done? It's ended. You're cruel. Yes, I suppose so. This is just my obligation. Cephalon begins rustling around in Laser's head. This is the chip. Obtain Laser's chip. Are you just giving it to us? You came looking for it, didn't you? If, it, if used well, this can nullify security. But to do that, you must find a secret room only G uh, Gashu knows about. That is all I can say. Now go. Okay, man. Why are you helping us? That's right. There was a trade, huh? I checked my tablet behind my back, so the Gin and now wouldn't notice. Oh yeah. So I remember being the sacrifice is like the worst thing to possibly be. Uh, should we look for the secret uh, room soon? Right. We need to find that. Um, I might have an idea about it. Uh, do you really? Yeah. Take take us there. That's amazing. Now, please take us. Yes, of course. What is it, Gin? Nothing. Oh, you smell some bullcrap? First, go to the lobby. Oh, hey. There's Gashu. Is something the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, if you have any worries, please inform me. Yeah, he's the one that freaking killed that robot, if I remember correctly. And if I'm not, please forgive me. This is my fault. Sarah. Uh, good. You're looking better already, KG. Um, we're in a little bit of a hurry, so... Okie dokie, see you later then. Gashu is watching. Let's leave without drawing suspicion. Uh, it's towards the ruined corridor. No one's around, right? Yes, nobody but us. Is it really here? Is this... Um, Sarah? I'm just thinking, once we go to the room, we might only have one chance. So would you let me check the chip first? Okay, alright man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I trust her. Yes, if it's broken, this plan will be a failure. Please, Sarah. Ah, oh. Yo, can I save? Alright, now? Now? I'm, I'm trusting you? I'm gonna hand you the chip? Do not- I mean, cause she is working with so, I, I think, right? Dude, let's- alright, let's hand the chip over. I understand. Thank you very much. Yes? Now it's hiding something. I'll close my eyes and take a deep breath. Dude, don't close your eyes! I'll look at now again with a clear head. The way I did when I was with KG. Oh, Undertale. I can feel it. Now is unrest. What would KG do? How can I move her? Can I somehow touch her heart? Mini game time! Wait, I don't know if I should be following it this entire time. I'm just like doing it inside of her body. Now, please tell me everything. What are you talking about? We're not just strangers anymore. We're allies. If you're just going to trick me, I'd rather we stand together and share our worries. You saw right through me, didn't you? I lied to you. I don't know anything about this secret room. Big sis, but I do know how we can find out. What do you mean? Sarah, I'm sorry. Thanks for your trouble. You piece of crap, so! I knew I could never trust you! You did well, Miss Now. So! What are you planning? Uh, I'd like to know what your plans are going forward. What do you mean by that? Come on, have you even thought about how you'll use this chip? Well... I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna say, hey, we do know how to use it! Please, give it back! What a liar you are, Miss Sarah! 
Me, I can analyze it with this laptop. Analyze? You're the worst. Ugh. Excuse me. Use Big Sis now for that? She's a good kid, unlike you two. All right, Miss Now, hand me the chip. Miss Now? I'm sorry. Oh, what'd she do? Now grab the laptop, push so away, and took off running. Double agent! What's going on? Hang on, the chip and the laptop. Where are you going with those? Big Sis Sarah, let's go after her. She went towards the lobby. Did she head towards the bedrooms? What is the matter, everyone? Uh, don't interfere. We're in a hurry. Oh, my apologies. But it would be dangerous if you tripped on your in your haste. Uh, that's what that's what you're worried about. Move it, floor master. You're trying to stall or something? Absolutely not. I simply spoke up out of concern. Go ahead. Rude. All right, we're going to now's bedroom. Oh, she just wanted to see freaking um. Oh my God, his name. Uh, yeah, Mashima. Yeah. Don't come in, please. Oh, do we have guests? Uh, if it isn't Miss Sarah and the others, is that the old guy's monitor? Didn't Reko destroy that? The professor's been brought back again to protect us. Please be at ease, everyone. I will guide you towards escape. Guide? Like how? As an, artifi as an artificial intelligence, I possess the security data for this facility. There's no way. Please trust me. You require a map of the facility, do you not? A map. Um, yeah, let's find the secret room. Maybe it'll show us where the secret room is. With the laptop Miss Now has brought, I can send over the data. That's why Big Sis Now took the laptop. Did you need the chip? It wouldn't, I wouldn't think Laser's chip has anything to do with all this. I can analyze it as well. I just thought I would do both at once. Pretty smart. Uh, please don't be suspicious of the professor, okay? It's quite all right, Miss Now. Now, uh, connect it quickly. There's no time. Please wait. Uh, are you, are you real? <laughs> What are you saying? I won't forgive you for doubting the professor's generosity. Come, Miss Now. Miss Sarah and her friends are tired. So just connect that plug. Don't do it. There, it's... There, is this fine, professor? You did well, Miss Now. That doesn't look normal at all. You truly are easy to manipulate. Dude, everyone's betrayed us! Professor? This laptop, this chip, they were major nu nuisances for the death game. But now Master Gashu can rest easy. Master Gashu? Now, give us a laptop and, ch and chip. That's not Professor Mishima. It's too late. Both are already connected to me. I will destroy all the data on them. You'll never so much as dream of escaping again. Stop! Don't run from the main game, filthy humans. Ah, oh, bro. Someone freaking get some scissors on that cord. Oh, wait. What is this? An error has occurred. Dang it, why? What on earth is happening? Is freaking Mishima actually taking over? Looks like it went well. Seems that way, Miss Now. Uh, what did you do? This is... Don't pre Don't get friendly with me. Don't you dare say my name with the professor's voice and face. Uh, don't tell me. From the very beginning. Dude, twist! Somebody twist! Did you think my bond with the professor was that flimsy? Hey, Miss Sarah. Do you remember a mysterious program in the laptop? Um, the backdoor file. Exactly. Hilarious, right? It was named Backdoor Smut. Well, that was the last resort Kai prepared. A file named Backdoor that was really a hacking program used to get data from the organization. Hacking? You're the ones who's getting deleted. Stop! That's crazy, man. The artificial intelligence vanished. Does that mean there's no more security? Can you stand, Miss Sarah? Um, I can stand by myself. It's fine. Uh, ever cautious, huh? I'm going to get straight to analyzing now, so do your part. Gather everyone in the lobby. I'm counting on you. Do, do I- am I supposed to not like so or not? Uh, paying no mind to me struggling to keep up, so begin fiddling with the laptop. Alright, everyone, round them up. Oh, oh, hey, who are these people? The lights are off. There's someone in the darkness. I see. Your heart may be rather wounded. Mine is? Not just yours, necessarily. Everyone's is falling apart. Sometimes it's better to forget memories that are simply too painful. And in reality, the human brain is made to do so. All of you are too strong, so you can't ease your own memories. So with this machine, you really can erase them. My memories of Reko. Ah, that's sad, man. Only the painful memories, you understand? Those fun memories as brother and sister, those will remain, and you can just forget the bad memories. 
No, nah, you can't. I mean, you can't forget the bad memories because that, that makes you who you are, you know? As much as you'd like to. I'm the only one who can cure you. All right, do it. Nah, Alice! Are you certain? Make it quick before I change my mind. Then here we go. Yo, dude! Why? Alice, you're making a mistake. She's gonna turn you into a zombie, man. Uh, how do you feel? Oh, I see you. What a good feeling. My head is clear. Alice? Sarah Chidoin, how long have you been here? So you use the machine. Oh, is it okay to forget Reko? Uh, what are you saying? Reko is my dear sister. I wouldn't forget her. It's unfortunate she had to die, but Reko will surely live on, on in my heart. Being able to say a thing like that all casually, it's not right. What? If all you have is burdens, that isn't life. I can't say Alice did anything wrong. Indeed, don't uh, hamper my invigorating mood. I think I'll go rest in the lobby. Let's go again. Okay. I believe this machine to be one way of achieving happiness, no matter what you think of it. Dude, it's just like that one movie with Jim Carrey in it. Um, it's called Everlasting Sunshine. Nope, that's not what it's called. Sunshine... <laughs> I The sunshine... <laughs> Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Great movie. It's very similar to what happens in that movie with deleting memories. Really good. Go watch it. Right, got any leads on escaping? No time! Go to the lobby! So is attempting something right now. Uh, okie dokie, I'm half believing, but I'll come to the lobby once I'm done here. What are you guys doing? Oh, Kyutaro. Is he asleep? No! Muscle Gorilla? It's okay, he's breathing. But he's not conscious. Why in the world? Or what in the world? Yo, what's these things on the, on the ground? Big Sister, I've seen this on TV. It's a stun gun. Say what? If it touches you, you can get zapped and you can't move. Obtained a stun gun. And also, it's got a label saying one use. No way, did someone really use this to knock out Kyutaro? There's no power on it anymore, so I guess that's it. What happened here? Stun gun? I mean, that'd be something a cop would use, wouldn't it? There's a tablet on the ground. I'll pick this up. Is this Kyutaro's tablet? Why is it on the floor? Slap him, man. Uh, but can you carry him? Let's see. <laughs> uh, try carrying alone. Like, like, you can do that. He's too heavy to even lift. Uh, yeah, we can call someone. Yeah. Kyutaro, what happened here? Uh, we can explain later. Kyutaro is, uh, okay, uh, right? I, I think it's a, a strong possibility that Keiji would have a stun gun. Might take a while before he regains consciousness, it looks like. I see. We'll meet up in the lobby later, Sarah. I'll give him a piggyback ride and I, if I have to. Because you're uh, on your way to escape, right? Yes. Do what you gotta do, alright? Thank you very much. My mind is clear as a spring morning. Good for you. <laughs> Sorry for tricking you, Sarah. Um... Explain everything. Okay, I'll explain. You see? So you see, when the trading phase began, we were given our roll cards. The fake appeared on this monitor. I believed it only at first that the professor had been revived. But I quickly came to my senses. The fake ordered me to collect the laptop and ranger's chips. He said it to me alone without discussing it with anyone. Did you obey? No, but I feigned uh, obedience. At first, I immediately thought of discussing with you. But I thought the fake might have anticipated that too. If they found out I was wary, I was sure, uh, I was sure the fake would disappear. So I thought I had to extract as much info as I could. And so you talked with the loner. Right, the fake wouldn't expect me to discuss it with, uh, uh, lo she's gonna call him a loner. What's so? And continuing to act like I was fooled, we sent the fake, uh, the hacking, was it? To think now was capable of that. The best way to get the fake to believe me. Yeah, you can't trust no one in this game. Was to antagonize you in front of him, Sarah. And that was all the loner's plan too? Amazing! That's true, I guess. I'm a gloomy source uh, myself. No, Big Sis now the chipper type. Uh, she's the chipper type. I really don't think I am. But getting help from so of all people. Uh, however you look at it. I'm going to believe in so. So mentioned a plan for escape, didn't he? Please, gather everyone in the lobby. I had to talk to So. It wasn't letting me do anything. Now it's letting me. You, Sarah Chidowin, what's about to transpire here? Phew, man. q tower is heavy. All right. Is there really an exit? Let's believe in So. Everyone's gathered. Seems q tower still hasn't woken up. It's like he's in a deep sleep. Oh, uh, I'm worried. Uh, I'm rather... Yeah, will he wake up? It's fine. If it comes down to it, we can try splashing water on him. Uh, what is this, gym class? Let's escape before he wakes? That's messed up. I wouldn't say that. 
<laughs> I said it anyway. That'd be a hoot, like pranking someone while they're asleep. It would be a joyful prank. Um, Sarah, Cell's so working to get us out of here, right? Uh, uh, I, I, I hope. Uh, we're finding ourselves depending on So, but I'm sure he'll do it. Kinda so you believe him. I'm hoping the floor master doesn't find out about this plan. If Gashu saw us, that would be bad, wouldn't it? After the incident with the fake Mishima AI, that might soon, uh, they might soon notice something's going on. They're going to be very cautious of So, so we're So. He's still in your bedroom? It seems like he's headed to the monitor room. Don't tell me the secret room's there. It may just be. I thought to check over the monitor. Oh, should we, I, I guess I should go. Oh, that's a ladder. Some vents or like, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's check it out. Who is that? So is fiddling with the computer set up in the room. Is this the secret room? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's Gashu's room. I'm using Ranger's chip right now to neutralize, uh, neutralize the security. Can you actually do that? Yep, this chip's amazing stuff. It's got a lot of important data that could uh, probably be misused. Almost makes me think Ranger was intended to inherit all the data. Was he going to be a successor or something? A successor, um... In place of a son? I wonder if he was a stand-in for a son. Well, not that it really matters. The hacking is still uh, going to take some time. Could you keep an eye out uh, below for anyone coming? I'll keep watch. Big Sarah, you watch the loner. I love how they just call him loner. A portrait of a man. It's titled Inauguration. A memorandum titled that incident. This is a pretty old book. Read it. Quite some time has passed since then. But even now, those hellish memories are scorched into the back of my mind. In the first trial, I killed the person. First trial. I would never trust others. That was what I decided. And the Russian roulette that followed, the uh, two, I didn't participate. This is describing the same things we had to go through. At the end of their argument, the challenger chosen was someone most uh, surprising. A 17-year-old schoolgirl. With overwhelming charisma, she had a talent for getting people in order. And in the first victim's conference, she was the central figure as well. But there, she lost her best friend. And then the second victim's conference. A boy even younger than her and the man whose views almost aligned with hers, these two, died. Seeing her so exhausted, I felt pity. For the first time, I spoke my true feelings. So Sarah is probably, you know, this is not her first rodeo. She's probably been in another game and she just had her memory wiped. By the time we were done talking, I had acquired an admiration for her. To the point that I would be uh, fine even with my own death as long as she won, uh, won it all. But in the third victim conference, she died. Oh. Oh. That would mean, that would mean the, the, the robot. It was the first time I'd shed tears for a stranger. Shed tears. Even now, I see hallucinations of her. As many women I tried to love, I'm never satisfied. Even now, to me, she is... The message ends here, half written. What in the world is this book? I mean, it's all just speculation, but I think that maybe we actually might be a robot. Uh, papers titled Floor Master's Code. Read. Let's carry out the, uh, the death game with pride. For trials that require explanation, give one to a, the participants in advance. Uh, Two, floor masters must not directly kill participants. Floor masters cannot lie with the intent of deceiving participants. If there is misconduct during the main game, it either proceeds with the transgressor's death or must be re retried 24 hours later. Treat the participants with love. Misconduct during the main game, this is the first I've heard of that. If a participant transgresses, they die as penalty. And if a floor master does, it's a 24 hour extension. That seems to be how you interpret it. Talk about unfair rules. I did it. I did it. I did it. It went great, Miss Sarah. I'm in the depths of uh, their security now. High five. <laughs> A satisfying clap rang out. Ah, quit it with the weird chipperness, Miss Sarah. Even though you went along with it. Things are going to get a little difficult from here. There's more? It'll be fine. Just wait here. So stopped over further and began to work on the computer. He seemed so lively. That doesn't sound good. What's the matter? There's been a little problem. Miss Sarah, could you help me out? It's actually really funny because a lot of these, I I, didn't, I, I figured this out kind of recently, but I, a lot of these sounds that this game uses are uh, royalty free, like music and stuff like that. And like sound effects. I just thought it was kind of funny because I was hearing them. I was like, wait, that sounds very familiar. Uh, see the four monitors in the room? 
There's going to be red air. Oh, it's gonna be a freaking minigame. There's gonna be red error screens appearing on them. When you see one, tell me right away so I can fix it. Understood? Tell me when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Bam. 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 Dude, look at these reflexes, man. I'm like a cat. Bam, dude! With some time to spare, could've made a sandwich. It's done. It works, it works, Hera! You succeeded? Of course, ha ha ha! You probably can't tell at a glance, but things are pretty, uh, really outrageous. Uh, let's save the celebration for later. Let's go, Sarah. Hold on, where? I just have to follow him. So that's obviously the guy from the, the thing. From the, like, the little flashback thing they did. This way, you two. Don't leave us! Uh, I wouldn't leave you behind. Come on, hurry. Uh, they're showing everybody. Uh, what's the matter, everyone? Uh, I'm, I'm bored. You want to talk about something? You're awfully busy, it seems. Huh? How interesting. Looks like the AI control systems broke, too. Sure enough, the hacking was a complete success. Are we leaving them like this? If you want to say farewell, make it quick. I'll be in the lobby. No, this is just a distraction. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's head for the exit. I'm sorry, I don't know if I missed something. I just didn't care. Wait, is that what you're, is what you're saying is true? I'll explain later. There's no time now. Everyone, let's trust so. Uh, whoever wants to escape, come to the stairs. If you want to stay, I won't stop you. I uh, didn't say I wouldn't come along, you know. Towards the long stairs? So you all came. Is there a way to escape over there? If you doubt me, check whatever looks suspicious. Uh, a suspicious vending machine. Yeah, we. I've been wondering what does this do? Oh, it opens! Ah. You got it, Miss Sarah. As far as I can see from the map data, the exit is straight ahead from here. The only doors keeping us from it are this vending machine and the last exit door. And both of those aren't use the exact same security. So then, there's no reason it shouldn't open. Let's go before the forward masters interfere! Dude, yeah, I'd, I'd run so fast. There's a large passage behind the vending machine. Go, go, uh, prepare myself. No! Although I feel like I should save it. Now we just have to grab that hope! Within the passage is an endless flight of stairs. Hurried yet careful, we advance step by step. Stay close to me, everyone. So and Kana walk in front. Along the way, we notice doors on the sides. Uh, lots of them spaced some distance apart. I suppose uh, these connect to the other floors. These are probably the victory stairs that only the survivors are allowed to climb. It must be built so they can access these stairs no matter when the death, no matter when the death game concludes. Uh, hearing that makes me hope whether or not I want to for an exit. And exits. If there really is an exit, like so says, have we been saved from this death? It seems a little too easy. Uh, I don't think it's gonna really work out, but uh, what is it again? Uh, even once we go home, will you still see me? Of course. Well, obviously. Uh, thank goodness. Yet I'm sure when you you'll meet, you'll remember. You want to forget it? Uh, well, maybe. There's no way I could forget. Again. Don't cry. Things we lost, the despair put in us. The despair? There's a lot that won't go back to normal. But we'll get it back. Peace, our normal lives, that's real victory. Big says Sarah, I'm sure that uh, it'd be impossible alone, even if I know my own weakness. That's why we'll reclaim it together. Reclaim it? You're right. Our connections can't be cut easily. They're lasting bonds. Um, everyone? When you go back to life as usual, what will you do? Just go! Just don't, this doesn't have to be a nice moment. Like, I get it, like, but save it for when you leave. I hadn't been thinking about it. Uh, what do I want to do when I get out of here? Uh, I want to finish painting. I want to play video games at home. I, again, I feel you, I feel you. What about you? Um, go see a movie, maybe. Uh, that's great, Kana wants to come with you too. Hey, detective, shouldn't you go along with them? Might be good. Really, let's all go watch something together. I can't wait. What do you want to do, huh? Do you not have anything, Mr. Policeman? Um, you should satisfy your desires. Focus on health, maybe? Find something worthwhile. That's a pretty generic answer. 
Uh, maybe you should look for something that feels worth doing. Guess so. Maybe I'll take a... Maybe I'll think about a reason for living. I'd be glad to assist if that's okay. Uh, taking it literally, I see. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Um, I see something. They exit? Huh? It's a traditional Japanese room. According to the floor map, this is the winner's room. Okay, this is very normal looking. Up ahead is the exit, Miss Sarah. At last, head to the exit. Right. We proceed down the corridor. My heart be growing faster and faster. My hope, future, normality. Believing that all of this lied just ahead. I, you know, I can't even say I'm surprised, like honestly. I would have been more surprised if it was an exit. Uh, what awaited us was a solid wall of rock. It can't be. What the heck is this? This is the exit? It's nothing but rocks, almost like there had been a landslide. Ridiculous. I mean, this means the exit is blocked? The security had been neutralized, but without a door, there was no point. There was no hope. No! Don't be ridiculous! What in the world? We can't go home? It can't be! This is all a lie! That is not a lie. This is the truth you sought out. An external explosion was used to make a physical lid long before the death game began. Um, I have it this time. Please forgive my rudeness. I do not wish to use violence. Now, everyone, it is time to stop dreaming. You must win. Only for the victor will the path open. You ho so someone get some tractors out here, man. Someone's, I mean, they have a way to, to get all this rubble out of the way, right? You have only a brief time. You have only a brief time left. Spend your last moments before the main game well. It's over. It's all over. All, the, all that's left is this card. I guess so, huh? Having hope, having it broken over and over. Think it's time you face reality, Sarah. There was always one choice. Which do you choose? Trust the others and accept death. I mean, that's, that's the noble thing to do, you know? So that's your choice. Well, good luck. Although I don't think it's gonna happen that way. Before I knew it, everyone had gone off to do their own thing. She used her final game granted to us meaningfully. I would be trying to get some rocks off there, but I guess that's heavy. It's real heavy. Uh, KG is clearing rocks. Just can't stand it in me to give up. But that's like what I feel like anyone would do. Everyone would just start trying to get the rocks off. It might be futile, but I'm gonna struggle. Fool. What can you do without heavy machinery? You're a fool beyond saving. Oh, he also... That's cool. As many rocks as you move, there's no time. q is still passed out. I just want to know why. Why would they do that? Probably, I mean, I guess if you're a robot, you don't really care about escaping, huh? Alright, I guess we have to go to the winner's room. So it's deeply focused on the laptop. Continue to fiddle with it. He still hasn't given up. Oh, he don't want to talk. Save us. The words came out uh, unconsciously. There's nothing more I can do on my own power. If anyone can do something, it's so. I don't have enough time. I have Ranger's chip right here. If I just had another hour, all I might do now is hack the roll card data. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, do that! <laughs> if I had tokens, I could have used it too. What the heck? This was not in here before. So is that Sarah's only hope that he'll hack the cards and change them? It's all over, isn't it? I don't even have the energy to move. If I'd known about this, I wouldn't even want to see hope. I can't find the words right now. Yeah, dude, that must be crushing. Big sis, Sarah? I went looking around. Did you find anything? Did you find, uh, there wasn't an exit or anything, but I found a smartphone on the stairs. There wasn't anything like that when we came up. Uh, what exactly is on it? It's probably important. A card trade? Wait, I have a sacrifice card, right? What in the world is this trade? Oh, still? Oh! Commoner. Alright, I need to look up what, the, what this means again. Alright, so the commoner has no abilities. If they receive the majority vote, they and the sacrifice will die. So that's still pretty freaking bad. 
to survive, you had to vote for a commoner or a sage. So whoever is the sage, they, uh, to survive, they need to vote for a commoner. So, okay. Good to know. So being a commoner is like, okay, it's definitely not as bad as being the sacrifice, because that's real bad. Why did my sacrifice become a commoner? Big sis, Sarah? Uh, what is it? You just had a scary smile. Sorry, it's nothing. More importantly, Gin, uh, about the phone you found. Gin? A sharp pain on my neck. The moment I felt that, my senses cut out. Yo, what happened? What? Please stay with us. What? 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 I'm done for. Hey, ain't there some way we could save him? With uh, so much bleeding, I fear nothing can be done. No, you can't respond, please! Flashback? Like, what? Is it a bad dream? Must be a dream. Ugh! Did I just have some kind of dream? This place. Freaking Thanksgiving again. Gosh, she was on the screen. Everyone, how are you feeling? I truly thank you for once again participating in the main game. I will admit detailed explanations, but I have one point of warning this time. It appears one of you lost your tablet. Due to the need uh, for fingerprint, I fingerprint identification, others cannot misuse it. But, as it is a disadvantage to not know your own role, as a, a spare tablet had been placed on your table. Please use it if you are the person in question. That is all for my warning. To proceed with rules, please touch the screen. It's starting a second uh, main game. Yeah, isn't this the last game? I know that like new stuff was released. I don't know what that's related to, but we'll see. Well then, allow me to explain the rules. The basic rules are that one person to be sacrificed will be chosen by majority vote. The vote will be split into two parts. Though the first round, the preliminary, vo preliminary votes, half the total will be chosen as candidates. And there are eight present alive. This would be four. A final vote will be held using these, uh, deciding the ultimate victim. In other words, the sacrifice is decided by narrowing down from eight to four to one. Of importance, there are four roles. First is the commoner. This is the normal role, which has no powers. The second is the key master. As one would expect, they hold the key. If chosen as the sacrifice, will all perish. The third is the sage. By the power of the holy Divi uh, divination, they can know who the key master is. The fourth is the sacrifice. This is the card of reversals, which lets its owner live only if they are chosen as the victim. But meanwhile, if not chosen, they will die, so it's also an accursed card. In exchange, the sacrifice can vote twice. And if they win, they can escape together with one person of their choice. Incidentally, in the event that multiple people are tied for first, if the sacrifice is in the tie, the sacrifice wins. If the key master is in the tie, all perish. If both the sacrifice and the key master are tied for first, the key master takes priority and all perish. The distribution is one key master, sage, and sacrifice. All others are commoners. Best of luck. That goes without saying. Well, everyone, please wait for the game to begin. Oh. Hey, Gashu. That's Miley Cyrus again. Are you listening? You really got to muck things up. You made a flagrant, 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 flagrant transgression. One that makes the very core of the main game. Are you trying to approach the main game of yours? Apologies for the video malfunction. The main game will now begin. What did you do wrong? I mean, everything they're doing is wrong, but yeah. All right, whatever. For me are strange, familiar desks. You're here. You're early. What was that earlier? Hey, gosh, you, I have the right to an explanation. Kind of feels like this won't be a normal main game. It's starting all over again. Oh my, what a bustling crowd. Did you call for me? Uh, what's the transgression Miley mentioned? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. I understand that if there truly is a transgression, it should come clear in your discussion. Supposing one is discovered, it will be addressed. Don't mock us, would you? Uh, you're the one uh, deciding what counts as one. Uh, call in Miley. At least call Miley so she can hand in, uh, down a judgment on uh, any misconduct. Miley is the floor master for uh, floors one and two. I cannot do that. Then call Saffalin. Very well, if that will satisfy you. Please be our impartial judge. Uh, why do you laugh? I am joyful. Such determination to have a fair slaughter without having to worry over misconduct. Why you? Now then let the second main game. Hang on! Oh, he's up! 
Uh, very good. Everyone has assembled. Uh, so it's starting after all. Indeed, we have talked long enough. Now, shall we begin the second main game? Let the Hunger Games begin. Yo, why you gotta with that weird background, though? Here it goes! <sighs> this is horrifying. Keeping quiet only makes time pass, guys. Let's at least uh, decide our fate by our own hand, okay? It's okay. We've talked this- we've walked this road before, haven't we? Then, uh, and now it's totally different. We're allies by now. We've spent more time together. Then will you die? Let's find our resolve. Uh, let's said- you said that in the first game, right, Kyutaro? <sighs> Everyone, the card designs have been displayed in the rulebook this time. Yeah, so didn't Qtar try to escape before? So he would have never been able to escape anyway. So be aware that you cannot judge using knowledge of the designs as the first, uh, first main game. Well then, please spend this cruel and dense time to your heart's content. Yeah, so so obviously is gonna be the, the, the main thing. He, he knows everything. He knows the cards. So also he has the fate to basically kill someone. Gashu quietly sat down in a chair, and once again the main game began. Alright, let's, okay, let's, you know, let's discuss the cadenets. Seems you're ready. Uh, are you a fool or what? Have you forgotten that unlike the first main game, there have been many card trades? There's no need for worthless suspicion. We can reason out the sacrifice and the key master. If everyone speaks honestly, for how much you talk of allies, are you not being rather suspicious? At the very least, the sacrifice can't tell the truth now, can they? So it's fine to start with finding our the four candidates. Uh, because those who aren't candidates can be honest. Yep, and also if we prove what everyone's cards are right now, voting is gonna be hell. It'll be pure blame throwing. The guy should die, this guy should die. It'll be cruel and we have no trace of any bonds we've got. I get it. Very well. If it'll protect your pitiful bonds, then I suppose I'll go along with this. And thus allow me to say, uh, so Hiyori, you were the most suspicious of all! Well, anyone could have came up with that conclusion. Please wait, so it's- uh, yeah, he has contributed a lot. Let's be fair, right? So it's been great. Yet it doesn't change that he can't be trusted. Everyone from his history is unclear. Unless you unless you yourself speak your true colors, it will continue to. Then I'm fine with being the first candidate. After all, I... Disclosure! And the sacrifice. Yo, this dude crazy, man. He made... I mean, that's... He made himself the sacrifice. Is he that confident that he's gonna win? Or is he just being mobile? What's that about? Were you listening? Talking about roles is for later. Was there a rule against confessing your own? So I see. Sorry, KJ, I just didn't feel comfy letting you take the initiative. So can they lie about this or is it, does it have to be true? I'm assuming it's true. I know, I'll nominate the next suspicious person. How about that? Uh, he's got some no good idea again. Eh, agree. Understood. If it'll advance the discussion, go ahead. You're so calm, Miss Sarah. I nominate Kana. That's why. Everyone should already understand this. She's easily tricked, timid, and lacks ability. What does she have besides sympathy? Wasn't it you who tricked her and used her? After using her so cruelly, is so trying to betray her? So you're giving Kana time to vindic uh, vindic vindicate herself. Sure thing, let's have a discussion about Kana's actions during the death game. So that we can trust her. Yeah, he knows all the cards. Have I ever- I don't know if I noticed this, but he got Pac-Man on his shirt. Or is it cheese? At first, she just holds up in Soa's room. Kana uh, Kazu Kazuchi typically acted with him, only so Hiyori could prove her actions. Let's see, Kana was dead weight the whole time. What a hindrance. Hindrance? Kana looks like she's pretty shocked to hear that. I couldn't blame her. I'm sure you understand. Uh, you can extract statements from them. And also, you got a new weapon too. You know, from when you were searching together, your shrewd uh, detective vision. When someone makes a statement, you might notice someone else is having a reaction. I can do that? Now let's get it to get to it, partner. Um. Oh, I forgot about that ability too. Okay, she was there with the whole- oh, so I saw. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Side eye. Kana, are you too shocked to speak? But it seems like she's trying to say something in that case. I just have to inspire Kana's heart. Oh yeah, this thing. We have showering gun. Am I supposed to be clicking it? Okay, I guess we click it wherever it goes. I thought you just had to click it when it's in their body. I don't know why. It's not like it explains it. Or if it did, I forgot. Are you fine with him just saying that? That's... It's fine. You can get mad. Uh, let's what's in your heart come right out. Kinda... She isn't a hindrance at all! 
so saying mean things just because he could do hacking. But wasn't Kana the one who did hacking first? Uh, hold your horses. What do you mean by that? Um, Kana did hacking. She's, uh, you never make yourself clear. Speak in a little more detail if you can. Okay. Progress. Uh, did you... Kana did some hacking way before So did any of his hacking. What kind? I figured out a password. Breaking into someone else's things, that's called hacking, right? Sure. Does it mean Kana is adept with computers too? Uh, you can't call something like that hacking. Don't misuse words you only just learned. Alright, Sarah, let's advance a discussion like this. Uh, extract statements to expand- I know, okay. Present items to use them as evidence or have statements uh, to duke it out. Okay. This is always where I get confused because like I always get lost here. Um, there's really nothing to present as of right now. I think we have to extract or conflict. All right, maybe we need to put them together. Oh, I guess that's not right. Dang it, my cloud's going down. So I had been fretting about it since yesterday. He was going, I don't know the password, taking his beanie off and putting it on. Suddenly I looked at So's hands and I was struck by how clean he kept them, even in these circumstances. And then I had an epiphany. There might be some traces from the password being typed. So I figured out the password from finger marks left on the keys. Dang, so, so, someone has some really dirty fingers. They just ate some Takis. Ah, I see. So I'm pretty sure they don't. Oh, they don't. Uh, okay, I think she's just talking about how uh, she doesn't know about computers. But what password could it have been? When I heard that, I can only think that of the password to start up the laptop. It's really concerning. We don't have much time for discussion. Then how about you explain everything yourself? So uh, I am explaining uh, what an useless girl Kana is. All right, now that we know, I think we do need to comp conflict these two now. Um, Kana, could it be that you didn't use the laptop to hack? Or rather, you solved the password for the laptop itself. Yes! <laughs> it's hacking, sure. Uh, I was the last one to enter the password, uh, Sarah. And my finger marks left little bits of dirt from the one I, I pressed the keys. Dang, Sarah, wash your hands! When did you solve the password? It was before the trading phase began. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Don't you think that sounds funny, Sarah? Does it? I mean, Sarah shared the laptop. I mean, so shared the laptop with us so he could learn the password, didn't he? But according to you, you peeked inside before sharing the laptop with everybody. Yes. Then there was no reason to join forces. That's wrong. So wanted an opportunity to reconcile with everyone. I kind of sorry to say, but there was another reason. Why did Show share the laptop with us? You wanted to view the Sarah folder. Yep, that's gotta be it. The Sarah folder had a separate password, which was the name of Sarah's mother. You gotta be kidding. So you accepted my deal without saying nothing about this? Uh, what of it? Why you... Hold on a second, what deal is this? I don't sweat it, it's just between us. I don't think so. I thought it was strange from the get-go. But it seems there was a deal going on behind the sharing of the laptop. I'll have you tell us everything about this suspicious deal. <clears throat> I went to So and asked him to share the laptop. I was surprised. Qtara said he would give his tokens in exchange. The two talked to each other, separated by So's uh, bedroom door. Kinda heard it too. Uh, so said that's not a bad deal. And then he also uh, said maybe we'll re reconcile so Kinda can get really happy. Or Kinda got really happy. Kinda still believes in the goodness in So. I mean, I had a responsibility, you know. When the, okay, when the token gathered, uh, sub game started, I, I gathered more tokens than anyone to survive. Even the laptop I managed to get my hands on, I handed it over in exchange for So's tokens. I was possessed by the need for tokens back then, you hear? Is that really the only reason? Obviously. You think So blackmailed me or something? That ain't nothing. Blackmail, is it really nothing? I didn't intend to hear him out, but Qtara was so serious I just couldn't turn him down. And it turned out to be a good trade. Don't forget... Don't give me that scary look. You benefit from getting to see the laptop for free, right, Miss Sarah? Hey, this is it! Uh, was there really no opportunity for blackmail? What you saying? We acquired a certain video. Footage from the first floor security cameras. I didn't know there was such a thing. It was all clearly pictured. Uh, Qtar replacing the roll cards. And so seeing him do it. If this wasn't blackmail material, what is it then? No way, Qtar was the one who placed the cards? Muscle Gorilla was a traitor? A traitor? Is that really the case? Or was there another circumstance? Ironically, it's because of my improved intuition that I don't understand. How could someone like Qtaro be a traitor? Why did you do a thing like that? Uh, where did you get the, uh, the cards, Qtaro? 
Please say something. Security cameras, what do you mean? We should have searched every inch of the first floor. Did anyone find any security cameras? I mean, this footage is proof. Whether we discovered any cameras isn't what's important here. You were caught on camera, that's the only proof we need. Must be a puppet show. If you think about it, we've been getting tricked left and right. Okay, nah. A fake Reko, a fake Mishima. The kidnappers can move around fakes of us whenever or however they like. You mean, looks like you got tricked, Sarah. Script by the kidnappers, uh, actors are fakes. You fell for a fake movie put on by dolls. I don't know what you guys saw, but it was all a trap, I tell you. Learn your lesson. But talk about a disadvantage. Preparing fakes to trick us with a stellar move by our enemies, huh? And can't take q -tara lightly either. Looks like you've been talked down for once, Miss Sarah. Anyway, I told you about the deal between me and So. And I mean, after we all looked up at the laptop, uh, at the laptop, I was passed out the whole time. There's gotta be someone more suspicious than me. Double down. Nah, I don't trust that. Hold on, why did you pass out in the room of rubble in the first place? Well, I don't remember. It's true, I got no memory of the moment I entered the room. When I woke up, it was the main game. That's a rude awakening. So surely someone else knocked him out. Then we should have, uh, find who did it. They've gotta be a villain. The last time I saw Qtar healthy, wasn't it when we were looking at the laptop then after the sacrifice was passed to me? It started to panic and run off to get tokens. I didn't see Qtar after that. If I can determine everyone's actions at the time, uh, why don't we all give our alibis at this time? We shared the laptop, there were six of us in the lobby. Me, So, Kana, Sarah, KG, and Alice. Sarah should own, we continued to look at the laptop after you took off running, though there wasn't much. After we were done looking at it, uh, Kana went to deliver the laptop to So. Your friendly policeman stayed in the lobby for a little while. I wasn't feeling well and ran to the bathroom. I talked with Miss Now on the way back. Right, I talked with So about our plan to hack the fake uh, Professor Mishima. I was searching the pitch black floor, uh, first floor. After the sound of the trade, you leave me, Sarah. I went to the, uh, back to search in two. After talking to Keiji in the lobby, I went to the room of rubble, then lost consciousness. I want to say I couldn't move all of a sudden and bumped my head on the wall, but... Specifically, we talked about our hacking plan. Kana came to deliver the laptop during our chat. I thought about having Kana join the plan, but she promptly went off somewhere. That's my alibi. Pretty amazing it wouldn't knock out Qtara. Stun guns are, uh, or it could. Stun guns are dangerous stuff. That statement just now. Yeah, so how did he know about the stun gun? Right? I feel like automatically should present the stun gun to so. You know the weapon used well? Or used as well? I quietly took the stun gun from the scene. So only Ganon and I knew that Qtara was attacked with a stun gun. The only other person that could know is the culprit. A most unexpected slip up. So I already used the stun gun to knock a uh, Kubitero hamburger out. <laughs> yes, it was you, I give. You found me out so easily. It's almost like you wanted to be found out, to be honest, right? Sorry, I didn't want anyone getting in the way of the hacking plan we were preparing. When we suddenly entered the room, I went in and used it without even thinking. Where'd you find a dangerous thing like that? Can't seem to recall. Something feels off. You uh, really have to be at your wit's end to use a single use stun gun. Was there something uh, more going on between q Tower and So? That's enough. Just knowing who the culprit is is enough. That can't. Might be pointless to push any further, so it's got no intention of explaining. For now, we should spare some time for someone else. Indeed, only now do we have the time to suspect each other. Even if it's hard to say, we have to say it. You mean doubting so we can trust? That's right. Be brave and talk, everybody. Let's discuss if there's anyone besides So who acted suspicious. Alright, this is going smoothly. If I have to say something, <clears throat> now actions, now's actions had me wondering a bit. She was in the room of lice for quite a while. There's this video I've been curious about, so there's a certain someone I suspect a little. Actually, while I was searching in the dark uh, first floor, I saw a weird video. Pretty curious about Gin's actions myself. Uh, why do he know how to get to the? How do you know how to get to the first floor? I want to know about um, KG. Him noticing a secret door just by searching the room of rubble had me tilting my head a bit. You need a better nose than a police dog to do that. If Gin has a sense of smell on both a dog and a cat, then just as a reminder, Gin's a human. Actually, this video, when I first watched it, I was too scared to look. So I used the fake Professor Mishima, Mishima's monitor to play again. What sort of video was it? It's possible that it was faked, right? So I don't want to say anything irresponsible. I won't know unless you tell me. Well, it's the video that I watched with you before, Sarah. A video I saw with her. There was a guy with glasses and something like an axe swung at his head. Then he said Big Sis Sarah's name. It's me! Holy crap! It can't be that video. Of course, I don't uh, suspect you or anything. 
I got scared and left the room without uh, right away, but I'm sure uh, that it was a victim video. Yet now a strangeness is easily explained by the presence of the fake Mishima. There is no reason to suspect now. He seems to be kind of favored now. All right, let's present the victim video to Keiji because it, it looks like he's in it. Ah, oh, come on. That's like pretty valid. All right, she talked about a victim video, so. <laughs> yeah, the one I dropped. Yes, that's exactly right. There was a woman tied up by chains. And just like that, the woman died and there was a man in front. He looked like the policeman. Uh, to me, it looked like the, he left the woman to die. A shocking story. It could uh, be always be forgery. Then why don't we ask? KG, is that video real or do you deny it? I'm doubting you so you can believe so we can believe you. Um I don't want to say anything just because like I want him to say something. <clears throat> Miss Sarah, it's looking like it'll be faster if you press the issue. I'm sure even KG will open his mouth uh, for his dear Miss Sarah. Expose the true colors he's kept hidden so long. I'm counting on you. Gotta do it. All right, let's do it. I did- Oh, did his face just appear? I didn't want to fight you, Sarah, but well... Can't let him mislead me. I'll choose words I can refuse and talk back. Let's discuss the victim video now, so how about... Mr. Police- Policeman's first trial, everyone knows it. Uh, no, none of us have heard about what your first trial was yet, KG. Please don't lie like so. Boy, that's a shocking comparison to hear. Sorry, I'll reflect on it. Was our scaredy cat now able to look right at the video? Maybe she averted her eyes in fear. It happens. If she saw it alone, I'm sure she could have made a mistake. Nah. She already talked about it. Wait, that was a failure. Why? Can't really make a great call from a backside view. Did you see your friendly policeman nice and clearly? Let's do this one. Your golden hair. No one can Im imitate it. Pretty sure well, all the enemies need is a wig to imitate it, actually. In fact, they've gotten fake dolls. That's what I was thinking, too. Strange to suspect it, then turn around to believe this one. Yeah, I get that. Should should be no difference between the two after all. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just going to pick this one. There's no relation between that woman and me, is there? Well, they, they both look like cops. You're a policeman, too, KG. I give... Oh, so that was like the main thing we needed to point out. Still, uh, find Mr. Policeman suspicious. He danced around it too well. Miss Sarah, don't tell me you went easy on him because it was KG. Of course not. Our lives are at stake in this discussion. If you can't be serious, you've got no value. Will you die, Sarah? Quit it so. Then talk. If you don't say something, Miss Sarah might be the one dying. All right, fine. The video is real. <clears throat> the victim video that now saw, and it was also my first trial. The woman's name was Meg Megumi Sasahara. She was my boss. You knew each other? She's a benefactor. I owed quite a bit of work at work. But I'll never uh, forget it. I owed her the worst kind of debt. Left her to die. No, I... But I killed her, Megumi. Mr. Policeman, get a hold of yourself! Sorry for keeping quiet, everyone. Truth is, your friendly policeman's not a policeman anymore. If I won that argument, maybe I could have heard more. Dang it, I guess I messed up. I'm surprised what a dangerous individual we've uh, had lurking in our midst. If you vote for me, I won't complain. Um, everyone? Speaking of voting, I think it's about time to decide who you'll vote for and which four uh, should enter the final votes. No way, that was way too quick. Well, you need time to work out the card trades this time, you see. Precisely, choosing a victim without a satisfactory discussion is not an outcome we desire either. Then what to do? Kitaro so KG, I can't uh, rightly say you're not suspicious. Hold up, don't we need more, uh, one more person though? Troubling, huh? If it's down to three options, I'll uh, make your choices that much narrower. We uh, gotta suspect someone again? Then maybe it's better to think of who to leave out from the final vote. All right, let's just say a good idea. Really? If you aren't chosen in the preliminary vote and are dropped out because you can no longer be chosen, there's no n uh, need to lie anymore. Indeed, that could be our greatest ally. Of course, if you're the sacrifice, it works against you. Got it. Let's talk about who we want to leave out. <clears throat> I think Big Sister should be left out. So well, I'm a commoner, so... Because she's super dependable on reasoning. We should leave out someone with lots of tokens, like Kyutaro. How about we leave out Gin, since he doesn't have any tokens? We shouldn't be selecting Gin or Kana. Sacrificing a kid's no good at all. So should be left out. He did say... Yeah, the sacrifice at the start. I have to say, I'd be glad if Sarah was left out. Right, if we're leaving someone out, I think it, I'd say Miss Sarah too. Yeah! <laughs> Just listen, the best person to leave out is someone who's very likely to have the sacrifice. 
if the sacrifice comes around to you, you can trade it away if you have tokens, right? But Gin has zero tokens. If Gin had the sacrifice even once, he wouldn't be able to trade it. And so there's a high chance he's the sacrifice. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Freaking what's his face already said it. Right, if we're, um, because you're cute. <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? When our escapes failed, I looked at you and had thought, had a thought. She's acting kind of strange. You had this desperate look as if you had the sacrifice. And on top of that, at last minute trade, right after our escape failed, I just got a tad suspicious, isn't it? Or it's just a tad suspicious. I want to know the truth about you, Mr. There's been a bunch of card trading this time. It's possible q with all his tokens was involved in at least one trade. And giving him his tokens to so, that uh, subject could inf really influence the decision. We should leave him out to extract info. Okay, so So's got the tokens. So maybe I forgot about that rule. Can you trade your tokens now? For cards or like to change cards or something? I forgot. I just feel like that once we lose our sensibilities, we're going to turn into demons. If it's going to come to that, then pick me, Sarah. No, because you're probably freaking the key master or something. And also, I swore to protect big sis Sarah. I believe in you. Oh, oh, oh. I just realized he flashed. Guitar, is something the matter? There's been a trade just before the main game. Is that true? Uh... I don't know. Well, I wonder. Don't hide it. That's what he said, right? Which means, yeah, just maybe. I figured out who's got the sacrifice. Did I... Did he not say who the sacrifice was? How could you possibly know that just from Kutaro? Uh, I know. Everyone, listen up. Disclosure. Key master. I'm the key master. Yeah, I'm daring to say it before voting. What's this all of a sudden? I can't tell where you're going with this. Uh, you would say that, huh, Sarah? I'm sorry for taking the key master from you. Does he mean the sacrifice card got sent was mine? If Qtar who sent me the- It's Qtar who sent me the sacrifice. And you still got the sacrifice now, ain't that right? What's he talking about? I have a commoner card now. Qtar is making a false accusation here. Stay calm, what do I do? Make use of this. You really think I'm the sacrifice? Yeah, then just leave me out of the votes. Don't be misled, uh, guys. The sacrifice gets two votes. If she puts those two votes towards herself, she's getting selected. In other words, if I'm not selected, then that will be proof. Either way, nobody's voting for Miss Sarah, and we'll have proof. I would like that, but it's about time we proceed with the votes. Please wait. We can decide on such an important vote with so much uh, still unclear. We can just sort out it out in a short time. We can't just sort it out in such a short time. What do we do? One of the candidates is going to end up with the victim as the victim. Remember, we really shouldn't discuss or should discuss more. You sure you don't know when to give up? Are you sure don't know when to give up is what he said. God, I can't read. Time is up. Please select the four who will remain in the final vote. Enter your votes, please. Please choose who to vote for. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. The game still confuses me. Um, so if he really is the key master, we can't put him in because then everyone will die if he gets voted. I think we gotta put so... Oh. Okay, okay then. The first vote is over. And I wasn't chosen. <clears throat> I can feel my strained nerves loosening. So if anyone that wasn't chosen, what, isn't, they're not going to die yet, I guess? But why these four? Sarah, you... It's just like I said, I'm not the sacrifice. I'm a commoner. Four will advance to the final votes. So, Hiyori. Kanakazuchi. Keiji. Now... <clears throat> this isn't right. I know this to spare myself. You can't want to have a conversation when you feel like this, which is why it's my role to inspire them, like KG did for me in the first main game. Give a pep talk? <laughs> <laughs> Lift your heads up! We've always done what we had to do! It's easy for you to say, Sarah. <laughs> no matter how cruel it is, you can't stop. But we're not your enemies. Even if someone is the sacrifice, we move to the same direction. We talk and we advance the discussion. Uh, right you are. The real battle begins here, everyone. All right, first, it's time for uh, those of us who aren't picked to guide the discussion. Or is it even people that aren't participating are still like, they could still die. I don't, I don't remember. Incidentally, I am an accommodator. Uh, be at ease. Alice is a commoner too. Muscle Gorilla, it's not the time to shrivel up. Uh, let's remember the card trades in order. Yeah. Now please grasp your fate with your own hands. May you not all perish. Now we will all have an in-depth uh, discussion on the card trades. 
Uh, Stripey, leave us. <laughs> Stripey. I uh, got you quietly sat in the chair again. There were four trades made in total. That ain't that many. By the way, I've been a commoner the whole way. I uh, didn't get it traded with even uh, even once. Trading cards requires 50 tokens. It's not as if just anyone could do it. Honestly, it's all a mess in my head. Gladly, uh, we got given more time to sort it out. My heart was pounding, wondering when I get passed to a bad, a bad card, but my role didn't change up to the very end. I made it through all five trades. I thought there was only four. The token raking, as I recall, uh, put Cubert, Cub, Cubitaro Hamburger in the first and Gen Ibushi in last. Now was also low ranking. Of the four candidates, I suppose now was the only one who lacked the tokens to make a trade. Muscle Grill, that's wrong. What? There were five trades. Wait, but my memory, there were three. Then I heard there was one just before the main game. I get it, you misunderstood. There were two trades while you were out. But that doesn't make any sense. That's our line. Sorry, but uh, nobody's given me an explanation. Well, that's on us. Uh, when was it you passed out? Uh, or when was it you passed Sarah the sacrifice? In fact, did you have the sacrifice to start? That ain't it. The first card I had was commoner. That tells me the most of the trades. Uh, I don't have a clue. Uh, what's that? Because your friendly policeman made the first trade. What did you say? Who'd you trade with? I gave Sarah the key master. Then what card did Sarah start with? Um, I'll say. You trade a key master for commoner, and I deepen our trust doing it. Let's do a little sort out. On the first trade, I pass the key master. In the second trade, someone's sacrificing Qtaro's commoner. Sarah's commoner and Qtaro's sacrifice. I'm gonna guess. No? Considering the order of things, someone's sacrifice, someone's sacrifice was swapped with Qtaro's commoner. And in the third trade, Sarah, okay, all right. That's what I'd mean. Muscle Girl, tell us everything you can remember. You have an obligation to properly explain to us the third trade. <clears throat> At the time of the third trade, I was searching for the first floor alone, so I want to know the situation. Uh, the third trade occurred when everyone was sharing the laptop. These trades, I'd better keep them sorted out in my head, too. So you can now sort out the details of the trades. Oh. That's kind of nice. Alright, so the top is what everyone had to start with. Those further to the right had more tokens to spin in broad strokes at least. The next row is what cards everyone had after the first trade. Below that is out, okay, and so forth. Bottom row is after the fifth trade. In other words, the rolls they ended up with. Of course, it's all guesswork. I'll rework it if new information comes up. Remembering that photo on the laptop still makes my heart quick. But what's important now is that card trade. In the end, it was mutual betrayal. Despite you being there, he traded the sacrifice to you. Such a cold-blooded man. Don't speak uh, of bonds to me. What? Something strange here. So Alice was saying he's a commoner, right? But that doesn't really... Well, he is, it says he's a commoner now, but... We'll just pit um, these two statements together. Uh, there you go. Why won't you deny it, Kutaro? I mean, you need a ring up box to trade. If he used one on the spot, shouldn't he have seen him do it? What could he be hiding? We'll find out. And I actually don't even know the point of that minigame, to be honest. Be, uh, be as silent as you want, it's no use. I spit it all out, Kutaro. I uh, meant to cooperate with Sarah, with everyone, but I got it so, I uh, got used for convenience. I'm pathetic, a pathetic adult. The third trade, my sacrifice being sent to Sarah. It wasn't me, it was so was doing. Say what? I don't know what you're talking about. So knew, he knew I had the sacrifice. When everyone was sharing the laptop, so wasn't going to use the toilet. He wants to use the ring up box to trade my sacrifice and Sarah's key master. I don't know a thing about that. Wait a second, he chose two other people and made them trade? How can you do that? Or you can do that? Must be possible. So you can say that with confidence. So isn't it about time you confess? Tell us the real reason for sharing the laptop. Such a deeply suspicious individual, KG. The discussion is stuck in equilibrium, failing to come to an agreement. How about I hear the truth from your mouth? About what? Between the statements these two give, I should either uh, affirm correct ones or deny incorrect ones. Okay. Qtara couldn't do the third trade. I was on the toilet, so I couldn't either. Uh, deny. No, you didn't go to the bathroom. Were you watching me? I mean, 
Uh, thought not. Glad you weren't a pervert. <laughs> this won't move things forward. I'll just affirm this one. Okay, so he was with us. The question is, how did you know the sacrifice? Uh, she's just rolling on ahead with the assumptions that I know, huh? Okay, so did he learn about Qtar's sacrifice via hacking? Couldn't I just take a peek to do that? Precisely, you saw it directly. Qtar's intent was to negotiate with So, and as a condition for his trade, he showed So his sacrifice card. It's natural to think that. Such an act of imagination, Miss Sarah. How about you use that imagination to consider what their nego negotiation was like? Qtar started to negotiate outside So's bedroom door. Were you watching or what? Uh, we have the footage, so we'll say yes. <clears throat> How did So react to Qtar's proposition? He must have let him in the room quickly and stuck the deal. Yeah. You do know that Qtar despises me quite a bit, so would I really throw him caution to the wind and open the door for him? That wasn't right. What? I'm gonna deny. No, you were brave. Now, I was trembling like a puppy. Miss Sarah, don't let lump strangers in with really powerful high uh, school girls like yourself. What do you mean, weirdly powerful? I can't upset the balance. Let's start over. Ah, uh, that's it. That's what Qtaro did to propose his deal. So must have been fairly wary of Qtaro to test him using, uh... Who could beat him using Forest? So Qtaro informed him that he was the sacrifice in advance. Not vocally, but by showing him on his, his tablet. So you had yet another objective on top of tokens with the Sarah's folder to control the sacrifices you wanted. You got it. After the second trade, me and Connor were working on the escape plan. Then I heard Qtaro through the door. Want to make a deal, he said. I didn't care to listen, but he slid his tablet into the door. Then I saw it. Sacrifice. How brave of him to go as far as offering up info just so I could share the laptop. What did you- Wait, what did you- I didn't, I didn't read that right. You saw that the first floor security footage, right? Well, it's the truth. I haven't discussed my first trial, have I? It was one absurd trial, I tell you. They told me set up the props used for the death game. Then it's true, you set up the cards. Yeah, of course. I didn't want to know- uh, I didn't know what they meant yet. Once I found out, I knew Kai's fate was set. It's like I killed him. Uh, so Kai took the sage card I just placed out at random. That's why I at least wanted to get uh, Kai's laptop back one more time. Such an emotional story. So that's what drove you to give a whole hundred tokens. One hundred? That's enough for two trades. Are you insane? But you left yourself enough just for one trade. How cunning, pretending to risk your life but not forgetting to protect yourself. What a dirty adult you are. Say again? All told, you left yourself an escape route if you were in a pickle. You could pass the sacrifice away from yourself. That's why I decided to act first and send the sacrifice to someone else. To Miss Sarah. Thinking back, uh, To Miss Sarah. Always thinking of her allies. Is that the truth of the third trade? I was hopeful it might make you tear off your sheep's clothing. Why does he do this to me? But you went above and beyond ex my expectations. The fourth trade was you, wasn't it, my uh, Miss Sarah? What do you mean? I mean, the sacrifice is what killed Joe, yes? I didn't do any trade. Your guess is off the mark. I didn't do any trades. In fact, I couldn't because I didn't have any tokens. That's my poor excuse. Quiet, loner. I was with Big Sis Sarah. Uh, yeah. So was I. Sarah didn't uh, do any trade. Well then, it must have been an ally who did it for you. You took the sacrifice from Miss Sarah, didn't you? Uh, what's the meaning of this? It's really very simple. The two of them were accomplices. Miss Sarah and KG formed a terrifying plan involving the sacrifice. I don't know what he's trying to play right now. Like, he did it. To achieve victory in the main game, a way of uh, said sacrifice, they schemed to escape by working together and having KG win the votes. I suspect the fifth trade that followed uh, was Miss Sarah and KG making a bluff. They just picked two random commoners to have trade. Then you say KG Shinogi has the sacrifice? That's a, a wild fabrication. I mean, the sacrifice I had was taken away by my the fifth trade. So it's about a nonsense to lead everyone by the nose. If my reasoning is correct, KG is the sacrifice and the sage is Miss Now, perhaps? I'm the sage? Yep, so it may well be fine to have Miss Now die this time. Wait a second. At the first, at the start, you said you were the sacrifice. That was a lie. I'm a commoner. Uh, I guess I should have seen that coming. I don't know. I don't know what's real, though. I don't know. Then wouldn't she be in the same boat as me? 
I see. Guess choosing anyone but Keiji is the same in the end. Then let's vote for Kana, since she has the least value. She's the least valuable. Enough. It's been a long time since I've hated someone this much. Here's a friendly little police report. I long since used up all my tokens. And you want me to just believe that. So you're just dying to say I ended up being the sacrifice, aren't you? Unfortunately, I'm the key master. What are you saying? The key master's Qtara though. Looks like I've got him good. I'm good. So you lied. Uh, my real role is Sage. Qtara's the Sage? Ridiculous, that's impossible. It's possible, all right. As a Sage, I'm making an announcement. KG is without a doubt the key master. Uh, it couldn't be true, that's all. You were right on track to think accomplices, but it wasn't Sarah I teamed up with, it was Qtaro. Let's tell the truth of the fourth trade, shall we? The trade between Mr. Policeman and Qtaro. First when Sel betrayed me with a sacrifice, I went stomping around in a rage. When I heard uh, what happened, I proposed to Qtaro that we team up. And so when the fourth trade, you two traded cards? The fourth trade sure ended up punishing the loner now. Hold on, Qtaro, weren't you passed out during the fourth trade? Was well, yeah, wasn't he? Seeing you acting funny, Sarah, I was convinced the sacrifice had moved to you. I wouldn't let it stand. I decided I'd knock him down. I knock I'm down and take my tokens back. Okay. KG noticed me then and came to talk. He persuaded me to give it up and didn't know what So was thinking after all. And so I trusted KG and had him take custody of all my remaining uh, tokens. All of them? That said, when I first spotted him, I just uh, passed pacified him since he was pissed, but I ended up talking with Qtara and we thought things over. I traded my card with Qtara's Keymaster. That's so confusing, man. But actually, I went and did this trade myself while Qtara was passed out. Seems Qtara figured out during the main game uh, and was able to put the story together. It's all owed to the power of that card, even my noticing of Qtara's Keymaster. Alright, I had to take a little bit of a break because there was a lot of reading and I literally run out of breath when I read too much. So anyway, let's continue this. So they're talking about the fourth trade, and so saying, hold on, Qtara, weren't you passed out during the fourth trade? Is that what we need? I mean, Keiji could do the trade himself, but is he panicking? It hasn't worked out uh, his logic. Yeah, right. That's what that's what they always want you to think. These kind of characters, man. And then they just come up. It was their plan all along. That's what's that's what's gonna happen. All right, maybe we gotta maybe we gotta put KG and Qtara together. No, I'm sure Mr. Policeman was burning with the desire to see justice carried out. He used a whole 50 tokens to trade cards with Muscle Gorilla just to defeat the loner. Huh? Before Mr. Policeman said he didn't have any tokens at the fourth trade, then he couldn't have traded. Oh, so we would have to conflict these statements, right? You gave him all of your tokens? Sure did. Seems like that landed uh, way outside So's ballpark. Shut up. Running out of leeway, are we? I still got my doubts. Or doubts. I can't be convinced with just that. After all, KG, uh, why were you able to know about Qtaro having the Keymaster? Isn't the only way to do that during the main game with the sage powers of clairvoyance? So you still didn't know, or don't know. Okie dokie. Let's resume the discussion. We were able to extract the new statement from So. I just have to keep going. Why you? Can't you make a proper trade, KG? The power of that card. You don't mean... Yeah, the Sage Clairvoyance, of course. The Sage could use Clairvoyance even outside the main game? That's what the tablets are for. You intentionally didn't mention it. No, okay, well that's that's news. Unraveled all the mysteries now. This should uh, prove it. Mr. Policeman used Clairvoyance to see Qtaro's Keymaster. Then I made the fourth trade to swap Qtaro's Keymaster and my Sage. And now there isn't even a need to discuss the fifth trade anymore. Convinced of your victory earlier, you confessed I'm a commoner. Any other questions? No, there's something odd about Keiji's story. It be it'll become clear if I look back at the trades so far. The card I had at first was a commoner. Keiji's was the key, key master. And in the first trade, the key master was sent to me and my commoner to Keiji. Next, the second trade. The sacrifice went to Kyutaro and his commoner went to someone else. Next, the third trade. 
so initiated a trade that sent me the sacrifice and Qtar the Keymaster. And the fourth trade. The Keymaster went to Keiji and the Sage to Qtaro. The part that's strange, uh, sure enough, it's probably the Keymaster card because, like, why would he trade it just to get it back? There should be another roll with a stranger round. Sage card? That's right, the Sage is out of place. KG should have had a commoner the whole time. So why did KG have the Sage at the time of the fourth trade? That must mean KG's first card wasn't Keymaster. He's lying about the sage, having Sage now. Well, if he knew... Okay, it's a little confusing still, but if he knew... Uh, I don't know. Because the Sage knows where the Keymaster is. So maybe he's lying about the, the, the Keymaster because he knew... KG's first card being the Keymaster, that was a lie! KG had the Sage from the beginning. And so his clairvoyance let him see who had the Keymaster from the beginning too. Which is why in the first trade he can make me and the person- Okay, yeah, so so he can see where it's going. That, that actually does make sense. Alright, cool, I was actually right about that. <laughs> but if he did that, hasn't he been lying to me this whole time? Man, he wasn't trustworthy at all? Are you really going to vote for so? Now, something's not right. We should discuss this a little more. Stop it. Aren't you a candidate? Uh, you won't have to get picked. I'm afraid too, but I just get a weird feeling. Are we sure So is really a commoner and that KG is the key master? Now, uh, something's odd. You're exactly right. There are still mysteries remaining. In the fifth trade, why did someone trade for the sacrifice I had? That's because no one did. And the other party was a commoner. This isn't a problem we can ignore. Yeah, this fifth trade, we should talk about it. But if by chance we pick the sacrifice and we're done for, you know, we shouldn't need any more discussion. So so's gotta be the sacrifice. Oh wait, no, I think we've already established that. But no, if he for sure is, because they're, they're still talking to like like they don't know. Digging up old conclusions is just gonna make us uh more lost. It's your turn to die, so he said the name. That's how it'll end. No. We can't do that, KG. As long as we have time, we should seek the truth. Alright. Let's do it. We'll discuss the roles of the four who are in the final vote. There's someone who moves Sarah's sacrifice via the fifth trade. If KG uh, Shinogi is the key master and the sacrifice should be so, kinda or now, yes? Is the loner really a commoner? Uh, should we believe that? It's alright. So was convinced the whole time that Sarah traded away the sacrifice. In other words, kinda or now, which of them would have the sacrifice? I don't believe it. Uh, KG and Qtara are lying. So is it seeming very persuas uh, persuasive at all? Okay, so Qtara is saying that his his tablet, even though he was knocked out, he never got stolen. Is the policeman really the keymaster? Is there a possibility that his keymaster was sent somewhere else at some point? Qtara's sage power should let him see that KG is the keymaster. Then is that possibly uh, zero? So they're working together? Okay, so he's saying he, he has his tablet right there, but it says right here that we found a tablet, a uh, tablet next to a fanny Qtara. So. Let's, uh, do that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Qtar, you're saying you had your tablet on you at all times, yes? Take a look, it's right here. And when you woke up, where was it? On the table in the last supper room. On the table? I call that being off you! <laughs> That's funny. As I thought, the tablet Qtar now is a spare. There's a- This tablet I picked up was lying near you when you were passed out. What'd you say? I would assume this is Qtar's original tablet. The question is, why was it lying on the floor? So, took it. But they're locked by fingerprints. Sure, but while near him, you could bypass by using his, yeah, use his finger. And so we arrived at an outrageous truth. What do you mean by that? Depending on when So looked at the tablet, he might have seen through our entire strategy. The worst time for it would be after the fourth trade. And that's when Qtara had the Sage, and I had the Keymaster. If he saw the tablet then, he could use Qtara's Sage power to also know that I was the Keymaster. I'm telling you, I knew he would be like this. So is the Nagito of this game. You don't get past him. So has So just been active fooled? <laughs> you got me. Or not. Wonder if I'm acting right now, or maybe I'm telling the truth. So? Not good. Now there's the possibility that So has the sacrifice. It's no good. We shouldn't vote for So. Yeah, so that was his plan all along, but then, if he doesn't get voted, he dies, right? That's obviously why he would act all desperate. Guess not, you can vote for Kano or Miss now, whichever you like. Why you? 
Well then, let's resume the discussion, guys. We'll discuss who it's safe to vote for. We gotta find the one with the least chance of having the sacrifice. So he already must be avoided at all costs, for we don't know what he's thinking. But between Bucky Girl and Big Sis now, is there any real difference? I mean, yeah, you would just assume that So knows what's going on, and you just, you wanna do the opposite of what he's trying to lure you into, basically. I think Alice is very smart here. Uh, you need a certain amount of tokens to trade the sacrifice from Sarah in the fifth trade. That's because he hacked. He obviously hacked it. But then, you know, obviously we know that as the as the, the player. But between Bucky Girl and Big Sis now, is there any uh, real difference? Okay, so the one on this side had the most tokens, right? Is that what they said? Yeah, because uh, obviously because he had the most the most tokens. All right, it wants us to pick between now and Kana, but how do you do that? Yo, what does the game want me to do? I really don't know. Yo, I actually died because I don't know what the game wants me to do. Bucky Girl has a lot, and Big Sis now only had a little. What do we know now? Tokens. I've already tried this, but I'll do it again. These two, they're talking about tokens. Oh my god, I guess I just had to talk to him again. Freaking Gein. Surely she couldn't have been the one to take the sacrifice from Sarah. Then is now the one with the least likelihood? Wait, please. This isn't right. Big sis now. Least likelihood? Are you gonna kill me with such vague reasoning? I mean, that is, that is pretty freaking messed up. Please, have another discussion. You're right, we can't end the discussion. What are you saying? I just remember something. There was a way anyone could get tokens. Miss Sarah, you know it too, don't you? A way for anyone to get tokens from Reko's body? Oh, yeah, huh? I knew you could do it. Bixis now wouldn't do such a thing. But it's true. When I went to check the body, the tokens were already gone. And now was closely inspecting the room of lies. It's not, it ain't just now who could have done it. Couldn't any of us gotten those tokens? In other words, uh, everyone has the potential to possess the sacrifice. That's crazy. It all ends with a game of trust. <laughs> then the last action is going to be the key. What were each of us doing at the time of the fifth trade? As in, just before the main game started? Hope you can find the sacrifice. So the only thing we actually know is that the Sage, which is um, KG, he's the only one who knows who the Key Master is. But everything else is, is like a guessing game. And we know it's obviously not Sarah. I was thinking maybe it is uh, So, but now I don't know. We have to determine based on So, Kana, and now his action at the time of the fifth trade. I was sitting at the stairs thinking back on everything that had happened. I was on the laptop in the winner's room the whole time. Will you believe that? Kana wasn't really doing anything, just wondering uh, absentmindedly. Did anyone see uh, what the three were doing? I was moving rubble with KG. Uh, I didn't know what. Yeah, so yeah, that was that's what he did. I was searching all by myself to see if there was any other exits. There was also a ring up box right in front of me. What do you think, Miss Sarah? I can't take So's claim seriously. Kana, why aren't you speaking? Are you hiding something? Come to think of it, I feel like you were the one uh, I didn't see around then. Really, where were you? I mean, I was looking for something I dropped. Something she dropped? Okay, that's like the worst lie ever. And I wasn't able to find it in the end, so we just ran out of time. Okay, that's weird. If only I had it passed out. Yeah, so no one saw what Kyutaro was doing. We just know he showed up late. So he's definitely freaking not innocent either. These two, there's no alibis for them. I mean, yeah, sure, he was passed out, but I'm just saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... No? Oh, okay. I thought maybe I can get something out of that. Wait a minute. She said she dropped something. Could that have possibly been the stun gun? Oh, I thought maybe. I don't know. That's a good guess, I think. Okay, so Gin saying uh, they didn't see anything, but uh, Sarah says, Come to think of it, didn't you tell me you found something while searching? Yeah? There was a smartphone on the stairs. What? But it wouldn't even make calls. It was useless for escape. Oh, okay. So that's 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 gotta be it then. Kana, was it the smartphone you lost? How did you know? I bet it's the same smartphone I found at Kana's first trial room. Love, Kana, even on your own. Don't cry. I'm sorry we couldn't uh, go together. I love you, Kana. Again, tell me, where did you pick that up? It was a ways down the stairs. Sheesh. She must have dropped it while we were all climbing the stairs, surely. Are you protecting Kana? Me? Stick up for Kana? Think back for me. When we were climbing the stairs, so and Kana were walking in front. If she had dropped the phone then, everyone should have noticed. In short, there was, uh, this was only dropped after we all climbed up to the exit. Kana dropped it while descending the stairs. What did she descend for? Why did you try to hide this, Kana? Because 
Big sister, there's a message on this phone. Right, that's what kind of sister. Yeah, did we ended up lying about this, right? When we when we like showed her or whatever? Or like when we I think we had it at one point. I don't remember. It's a different message. Thank you. I love you, sister. Now it's Kana's turn to protect her big sister. Because that's how Kana can atone. Alright, we, maybe we changed it. It's been a long time. Please give that back. Hold on. Did you write this, Kana? But Kana's big sister is already dead. Could it be the sister in this message is? No way. Her sister in heaven. Uh, that, yeah, we'll say that. It's referring to her sister in heaven? That's not it. I mean, if it's not that, this is... Surely not. Is that right, Kana? Your sister here is me? Yes, I know it's strange, but Kana, to Kana, you're... And so you wanted to save Sarah that much? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I assumed that So did the trade because I thought he had. But she traded because of that message on the phone? Wasn't that altered? I can't remember now. I thought we had changed it because it said something crazy beforehand. Was it you who traded away Sarah's sacrifice? To avoid using the ring-up box in the winner's room, you returned to the third floor to trade. Hey now, you're talking like Hannah's. Are you saying she took the sacrifice to protect Sarah? That's so... It's inconceivable. No, I don't want to conceive of it. Deny it, Kana. What worthless reasoning. That's a load of... No, it's all correct. You idiot! Don't say anything! Kana did the fifth trade. She won't hide the truth anymore. Kana! He actually looks shook off that. Kana did it. She really did it to protect me. She took the sacrifice for herself. This is just the worst outcome. Such foolishness. You caught on at some point, didn't you? So... That's why you were trying to move the votes towards Kana. Shut up. Since there was no other way for Kana to survive, I... Please, wait! Will you listen carefully to what Kana has to say? With the fifth trade, Kana switched her card to Sarah's card. Once she knew escape wasn't possible anymore, she had no idea what to do. Then she looked at the phone. Seeing her sister's words calmed her heart. And she came to despise herself for not being able to do anything. This whole time, Kana had just uh, kept betraying her sister, the other, Sarah. She just had a feeling that So had sent the sacrifice to Sarah. Kana doesn't get the uh, complicated trade talk. She can't even uh, reason out who gave uh, who what. Even so, she was certain of just one thing. Because Sarah is so kind, she couldn't trade the sacrifice to anyone. Kana. She didn't want to let Sarah die. And also, she didn't want to make Sarah a, or So a murderer. That seemed more painful than her own death. So she traded her commoner for the Sarah's sacrifice. Kana. But... Disclosure. The card she received was a commoner. What? What's going on here, Kana? So, so did mess with the cards. Kana doesn't understand either. She's sure she traded cards uh, with Sarah, but it wasn't the sacrifice. Unthinkable. What is Kana saying? It's all true. Please believe me. At any rate, we just have to talk about Kana's statement. There's so many twists. It's I've never seen so many twists, even in the dog and rampa. I can't believe Bucket Girl, uh, she's lying and trying to confuse us. Well, maybe Kana just messing, uh, messing up uh, who she's trading with or something. Some unique situation that's caused the world to just disappear. Is that possible, I wonder? Is that possible? Now, I don't even know. It was a machine error. Maybe the tablet broke and the trade went wrong. Don't tell me. I wonder if so hacked the roll cards themselves. I don't know what to believe. I can't see through to the truth in their hearts right now. So we just have to find the objective truth. This might be an absurd opinion, but So was spending his remaining time messing with the laptop in the winner's room. I wonder, did he hack the card data then? Is that even possible? Because I mean, there isn't anyone but So who could uh, cause an irregularity, is there? Uh, someone who could cause an irregular- irregular- I can't, I can't say that word. So is hardly saying anything, I can't read his thoughts. I don't know how the ring of boxes work, but if you're just saying names to the receiver, there could be mistakes. And yet, my sacrifice definitely moves. If it ain't Kana's mistake, then maybe the floor master purposely changed the destination or something like that. Gosh, you changed the trade? Come to think, wasn't Miley talking about some transgression of God? Yeah, he that is true! We never figured out what that was about. I mean, I, I feel like it's pretty obvious that it was hacked. Why so? I'm thinking right now, don't bother me. Oh. 
Just can't do that. So another person that can pause an irregularly. Irregul- Oh my god. Irregular- I don't know how to say the word. It's so sad. Wait a minute. What about when Alice- Uh, when, when Alice's memories got freaking messed with? What if this has something to do with that, magically? You know, Alice has been quite- why it's like we don't really know much about Alice. Some nice evidence would make a whole lot of it. Do I have evidence that I don't know about of hacking? Maybe we gotta put their two statements together. Ooh, it was right. There was a possibility. Something separate from so is hacking. And an irregularity that definitely occurred. The transgression by Floor Master Gashu. Is it Joshu or Gashu? I'm guessing Gashu, because that's usually how you say G. Excuse me. Remember that what Miley said before the main game? Uh, yeah, she was just saying, "Oh, yeah, you got, you got did something, right?" And despite being such a huge transgression, it hasn't shown itself at all this far. And now this illogical movement of the cards is tormenting us. Could this very uh, issue be Gashu's transgression? If we believe Kana, that's the only explanation. So Uncle Crab Stash <laughs> manipulated the movement of the cards. But for the floor master, what could be the what? What could be the merit of doing that? Maybe so hacked Gashu to do that. There's some no merits. Maybe there was no merits. There has to be one. At the very least, he must have had a goal in mind. If we can figure that out, uh, we might know who he sacrificed, moved the sacrifice to. Quite the off-mark interference. Is it all right for you to be using your time on this? Gashu, if you haven't engaged in any misconduct, then promise us. I know the floor master's code. If we can expose your transgression, this main game won't count. We demand a second attempt 24 hours later. Oh god, another one? You just know everything, don't you? As to be expected from Mrs. Sarah Chidoin. Promise or no promise, I will simply carry out my duty as per the code. Uh, you for real? He said it. With 24 hours, we could even re-attempt our escape. But are you certain? If you cannot prove it, you will only be losing time to spend on other reasoning. It's okay. This new possibility we've spun, this theory, wasn't being directed at Gashu. So, please tell us the truth. The other possibility is that you did some sort of hacking to the roll cards. If we know whether uh, that claim is true or not, we can fight. Let's all combine forces to win an extension. Hana. Yes? You really don't have the sacrifice? It's okay, Kana really doesn't have the sacrifice. I see. I didn't access the roll cards. I didn't do any hacking to them. That's the truth, Miss Sarah. No lies, no tricks. All right, let's quit uh, deceiving each other. Let's work to expose Gashu's transgression. Just what I wanted to hear. This is the turning point in our destiny. A path we can never have reached if we were trapped by endless suspicion. The path of uh, all of us uh, trusting each other and battling the kidnappers head on. Together, we'll expose his misdeed. I don't know what it could be. Oh, let's get hype now. Gashu had something to gain from tampering with the trade. Perhaps he sent the sacrifice towards someone he wanted to kill. Or else you think there was someone who Gashu didn't want to die? Is there an answer in the clues we have left? There's a fundamental issue. Maybe the sacrifice wasn't actually sent to anybody. True. Uh, think about it. Gashu has plenty of reason to hold a grudge towards him. By formulating an escape plan, he trampled on his honor as a floor master. You're talking about... So... Okay. Uh, it's out there, but maybe in reality Gashu's an ally. Like he wanted this to expose so he could stop the main game or to be exposed Is that too unthinkable? The person with the sacrifice is uh, real likely to die That's why Gashu metal like I don't want them to die. So I'll move the sacrifice to someone else uh, Who's them there? That's obvious the person uh, who normally end up having the sacrifice Hane. So Gashu's transgression was making the sacrifice vanish Seems unthinkable, sure, but it's just one possibility. There's something curious about the antagonism between Gashu and Miley. Okay, so she asked if there's anything that's not related? I think there is. If there is, I should show it to Kana. If there isn't, I should tell her there isn't. So anything related to deleting the card? What if you say there isn't? That's what I thought. We've discussed all the evidence already. Unless there's some new evidence that hasn't come up in discussion, I don't see any leads. Hmm. <laughs> well, we haven't really talked about the four papers, right? That's it? The only clue that hasn't been used yet is this roster. It looks kind of familiar. That's just like the torn up paper I found in the first floor. Though, what could- what use could this have? Oh my god, what the heck? Someone used the death note on this! Why do you have that? 
Miley? Cursor handing it internal documents to participants. Eternal documents? Uh, gosh, you just- what? what is this roster? Uh, what indeed? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it at all. He caught on to the fact. I don't know what this means. Uh, you did good, Sarah. Gosh, you just made a slip of the tongue. You freaked him out. Whatever could you mean? Kai was a whole lot better at playing dumb. What meaning could these papers have? There's value in solving this mystery. We ain't got time. Let's thoroughly talk anything suspicious out about this roster. There are four bound sheets and four names on each sheet. I think the weirdest part is the fact that there's more people that we haven't seen. Besides our names, there's a bunch of names I've never even heard. Yeah. This roster doesn't seem to be sorted by name. Hold on a sec. There are participants whose names are on this, huh? A roster? It's reminding me of something. If you wanted to look closer at the roster, tell Mr. Policeman and we'll look at it together. Um, what does the percentages mean? And why is Sarah's the highest? Ah, I remembered it now. The bar on the first floor. There was a list of names on the blackboard. Now that you mention it, there was a roster too, but I couldn't possibly recall everyone's name. I memorized it. Uh, Kendrick was Alice, Kai, Kazumi, Keiji, So, uh, Naomichi, Mai, Megumi, Reko, Kitaro. Kendrick was Anzu, Kanagin, uh, Kuji, Sarah, Joe, Nao, Hinako, Ranmaru. That's amazing. Easier than learning the perfections of Japan. By the way, big sis, uh, Sarah, your roster, it's missing the names Kai, So, uh, Kuji, Joe, and Nao. This is an important information. Well, uh, was that useful? Look at this, the names are sorted by percentages. How creepy, what sort of statistic? Yeah, so like, that's what I was, I was wondering the same exact thing. Kurumata, Hayasaka, Kanashi, Tsurugi, and tons of other names I don't know. Were these people who died in the first trial? Then that's what I guess. That might be it. How many people do these kidnappers gotta kill till they're satisfied? Now's not the time to get emotional. Joe isn't on this either. What are you trying to say? Sorry, no ill uh, will meant. I'm just uh, laying out the facts it's reason from. Counting them out, there are four of us participants whose names aren't listed here. Yeah, so okay, I, I directed Gen and So because Gen knew where all the uh, who all the more who <laughs> who they all were. There are four people's names missing. Kai, So, Kuji, Joe, and Now aren't listed, so that's five. Uh, I guess I rushed and miscounted. Sorry, sir. This isn't the time to be poking at little mistakes. No, this mistake wasn't just a trivial issue. Why did So get it wrong? That's what's important. Yeah, well, I knew So wasn't on there. Gosh, you tell us how many participants were dragged into the death game. That would be 20. There are 16 listed on the roster. If we add an unlisted five, that doesn't that come up to 21? One too many? What's this mean? There are exactly 20 names on the blackboard. Well then, let's compare the names on the uh, paper roster with the ones on the blackboard. The blackboard names were like this. First, the five not listed on the roster. Let's remove the five on the first sheet. All four names are present. The second sheet. Similarly, all the four names are here. The third sheet. This one too. And the fourth sheet. Jin, uh, Skimi, that's the only person that's not on the blackboard. We've uh, derived a 21st person. What's going on? Just who is this person? Uh, one of us? An unseen survivor? A participant who died unknown. So either they're hiding someone or freaking one of us... I didn't mean to pick that. I literally did not. I was going to say one of us was hiding their name. One of us. An alias? If someone is using an alias, I see. Shin Skimi. Skimi is one of us. And they reworked their Alice on the blackboard. No, wait. Wait, someone was messing with the blackboard. I remember that, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's very... That's, that's good evidence. I remember, I think. But I swear, someone did mess with the, white, with the blackboard, I thought, at the time. Wasn't it Joe? I can't remember now. Interesting, if we follow that logic. Shin Skumi has already been identified. What'd you say? Sarah, let's work this out. If all names on the paper roster aren't real, there's someone whose name is, hasn't been revealed. Someone not on the roster, someone not on the blackboard. Someone not on the roster? Right you are. All right, let's discuss those five names. This is my real name. Professor Mishima always called me Miss Now, remember? 
I'm using my real name too. It was written there at the prize exchange, right? Uh, Kuji is the name of the Kana's ma uh, sister. The, if, if Big Bro Joe was using a fake name, Big Sis Sarah would figure out uh, right away. Kai's name was on uh, his laptop. Based on the email logs, it uh, should be his real one. If you want to check the roster, come tell Mr. Policeman anytime. Oh. What's the matter, KG? Oh, just impressed by how calmly he could lie. Lie? Sarah, recall the prize exchange. The prize exchange. Remember, there were photos, but no names anywhere. Oh. That was right. I must have had it wrong. So, what exactly are you afraid of? Afraid so is... You said... Oh, I mean, I, I'm not even surprised that it's so, because... Let me just look at him. He's suspicious. You said you tell the truth, right, to defeat Gashu together. We're your allies. By Try trusting us, so. No. Shin Tsuku Tsukimi? So is Shin Tsukimi. I want to trust you all, too. But I... He's trying to say something. In that case, I'll draw it out. Haha, -ha, I'm gonna click your heart to death. This is such a pointless minigame. I, I can say the same thing about the Danganronpa minigames too, though. It's really pointless. So, this is the moment to reveal your true self. I... My real name is... Shin Tsukimi. I'll tell you everything, even the secret of the roster. You know about it? It's meow? Yeah. Because that's exactly the same as what I got in my first trial. What did he say? Tell us, what the heck does this thing mean? It's the victory rates for the participants in the death game. Oh my god. That should have been obvious, actually, now that I think about it. There's the weird percentages on the left, right? Those are everyone's chances of surviving the death game to the end. Their odds of winning. Uh, foolishness, how could you know such a thing? Because they tested the eyes? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that, 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 they did. <laughs> they explained at horrible length to me how accurate this data was, and I saw my own percentage. Zero. Certain death. It's because he's self-employed, that's why. That's, I, <laughs> I would also definitely uh, die in this killing game. I absolutely can't survive this death game. That's why I had to abandon myself. I don't want to die. I can't stop shaking. I swear, if he takes off his beanie and it reveals a little little thing, that would be, that'd be funny, actually. I'm going to be killed. Everyone will vote for me and kill me. I don't want that. Hey. Hiya. A little, a shadow illuminated by light spoke to me. Just a random question. Yeah, this is, yeah, so he appeared in the freaking beginning of the game. But do you know what a majority vote is? He talked to me and quartered me. Okay, then let's go. It hurts. Stop! Strength in numbers. You're a helpless sheep who will be eaten by the strong. If you don't want to die, you change. I threw Shin Tsukimi away. So? Why assume the name Sohiori? Was he an acquaintance? I wonder. Dear me, what a heart-wrenching tale. But time has expired, everyone. We're out of time. Sorry, it's nearly time for voting. Uh, hold on a second. Our discussion. Did you make any uh, progress? It was all unrelated to my transgression. So you admit it. Revealing the truth of the roster, did that make any progress? That's... Uh, have you any more info on this roster? If I did, I wouldn't hide it now. Sarah, is there any other evidence that proves this transgression? I still say he hacked it. I think he did. Um, what if I say I do? Let us hear it. What would that be? The stun gun! <laughs> Are you giving up, Sarah? I rewrote the blackboard and also... I destroyed my own monitor in the monitor room. Oh, so they couldn't tell the truth. That makes sense. I told you everything just like I swore. So please save me. When is the extension, please? Of course I will. I feel it. So it's trusting me. A real bond. Sarah, this is our last chance. Let's think like mad about everything connected to this transgression. Well, I'll think about it and win. Meow, no slander, loner. Yeah, I know. Guys, our discussion definitely is progressing. We unraveled the mystery of this roster. Let's trust the truth of this transgression lies beyond that answer. This is your final discussion. Use it meaningfully. Yo, this game is long. 
Got it. This roster lists uh, the chances of survival. You said they determine these chances of... Yeah, with AI, right? Is there anything about these sheets that are still overlooking? Indeed, the most unusual aspect is the fact that there's only 16 names here. If so was an alias, that means there's actually four not listed, right? Hyde, Kuchi, Joe, now are the four not on the roster. Kind of curious how uh, So's chances of victory are the highest, huh? Or Sarah's. But I I'm just dumb, guys. I don't know what it means. I really don't. Maybe we can figure out something in common between the 16 who are on the roster. What do the 16 have in common? They all have names. That's it. There's a mix of living people, not living people, and some uh, we never met. There must be something in common. Okay, so Alice thinks that perhaps four not listed uh, on the roster are dolls or something. Our AI selves must have killed each other over and over to produce this data. And then and then been reset to do it all over again. Could that monitor room have been the place they did the test runs? Wait, they're AI, so they'd only have to fight digitally. True, no reason that they would have needed to assemble in that room. Come to think of it, I heard there was something unique about the AIs in the monitor room. That they are all candidates who survived the first trial. All the candidates. Well, we already we already know Sarah was probably in another trial from the flashback. So what they all have in common is that we were all candidates of another trial? Is that what they're saying? I would have put those two statements together. Now that I think about it, they might have used the word candidates, not participants. Well, not that there's any difference between participants and candidates, is there? If there's a chance the kidnappers were using these terms distinctly, then maybe participants and candidates... Well, a participant would be like someone that was like participating on their own free will, I feel like. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. We've established the chances of victory in everyone's real names, but for instance, we haven't touched on them yet, so maybe there's something odd about these occupations. So it wasn't a job hopper then. Okay, so I put so and freaking what's her face uh, together. Hang on, what's this about candidates? Are participants and candidates really the same? The participants, those of the 20 people who were brought into the death game. Then what are the candidates the floor master spoke of? Those qualified to win. The Hunger Games. And with that in mind, if Gashu who swears loyally to the organization were to make a transgression, he tried to kill a candidate or a non-candidate. Non-candidate? What if there was one of us who didn't have the right to victory, a non-candidate? Gashu would try to kill them. That's why you tampered with the sacrifice. I should have known I should have it now. Who is not who here is not a candidate? Well, that would definitely be freaking so then, right? What? Wait, someone left out. Oh, what the heck? Now isn't on here. I just realized that. <laughs> oh, no, she's right there. I'm so stupid. Right? That's now. I'm just going to pick them all. Oh, I was right. Now. Yes? You have the sacrifice, don't you? This roster lists the names of the candidates, those who are qualified for victory. Even Shin, uh, was his zero chance to actually win, is listed. But now, out of his, uh, survivors, your name is the only one missing. I thought this was just short for now. Now, I thought it was just short, but I was like, she's not a boxer. And in the monitor room, there was no AI of you. No, there didn't exist a now AI to begin with. Because you were an outsider who didn't meet the qualifications to be a candidate. And so J uh, Gashi tried to kill you. He sent the sacrifice with this high risk of death now. This was your transgression, Gashu. Ha 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 ha! Fantastic. Well done. Such overall. Oh god, I can't read in time. I'm not doing this. You solved it. Yes, indeed. You're the chosen one. It's over. All the energy is leaving me. Our long, long discussion. And at the end, we earned it. Victory. A moment's survival. I'm sorry, everyone. I kept quiet about the sacrifice the whole time. When I thought about what would happen if we weren't able to expose them, I just couldn't say it. I wish you'd have been brave. <laughs> I don't know. It's not your fault. I don't really care. I'm not mad. All the fault lies the Gashu. Uh, uh, answer me, Gashu candidates. This death game, what's all of it mean? I will say but one thing. Everyone, have you ever harbored doubts about your upbringing? 
That is my first and last hint for you. Doubts about your upbringing. So someone is lying. Last, Miss Sarah Chidoen. Have you overlooked something important about the Floor Master's code? About the code. It is written clearly. If there is misconduct during the main game, it either proceeds with the transgressor's death, oh, or must be retried 24 hours later. And I promise you that I will fulfill my duty as per the code. No! He's doing that just so we don't freaking... Oh, it's crazy! If I take responsibility on my life, then the main game shall continue. You're kidding! Everyone, please earn victory. Oh... No, wait, this is... Foolish! No, this is impossible. It should, it should be over. What is... Why? He was going to do this from the start? Why? Just for a day's extension, we hung on stubbornly and put our lives on the line. And yet, Gashu casually threw away his life. He uh, easily shot down our own hope. Or our, our hope. Who could be capable of such a thing? He's a demon. This shouldn't have... Cephalon. Please, it's an emergency, right? Suspend the main game. I can't do that. I can only act as a substitute. No. You're really going to continue? This is all within the rules. If I refuse, everyone will die. Uh, that isn't right. This isn't right at all. I begging you. It doesn't have to be 24 hours. At least let us retry. I'm sorry. I'll do anything. Just please. I'm sorry. No. Now is the sacrifice. No one will vote for her. And we need to choose two. One of the commoners. So Arcana. Oh, that's crazy. We could still vote for the sage, right? Then the sacrifice will die too. But wait. If a commoner gets the majority vote, then they and the sacrifice die too. Oh, so it doesn't freaking matter. I have like the rules opened up here because it's really helpful. Now's the sacrifice. I'm the key master. We can only vote for So Arcana. Yes, yeah, so you can't vote for the key master because everyone will die. I guess it's clear who you're who you're gonna vote for. Everyone, um, won't you vote for Kana? Oh wow, dude. Little that's kinda crazy. Please, someone save me. I, I forgot, why can't we vote for freaking, um, isn't he the sage? Or he must be the key master, that's why we can't. I forgot who, who's who. Now's the sacrifice, I'm the key master. Oh no, so he's the key master, that's why we can't vote for him. But what about him? I'm tired. As much as I contribute, everyone's going to choose me, right? As much as I want to, dude, I, I, I'm not gonna pick him. I don't, I don't think I actually have a choice though, do I? Okay, so I can't. I can't pit their statements together. What do I do? Oh, okay. I can pit them two together. Kana and so. Duh. What are you? Please vote for Kana. What are you saying, Kana? I'm sure you understand between So and Kana, which of us ain't isn't necessary. Kana already intended to die from the moment she tried to trade for Sarah's sacrifice. Kana? Please. This is about the only thing Kana can do. In exchange, I want you to believe in So. Because he's really not a bad person. Why can't I say anything? Kana's throwing her life away to protect So, and I'm just gonna watch in silence? Don't be ridiculous, Kana! Self-sacrifice, that's worthless! You really are a kid, Kana. A thoughtless kid with backwards notion that if she dies, it'll solve everything. My feelings won't change. Be quiet! Guys, we have our conclusion. Hurry up and vote! Sarah, you hate me from the deep down, right? Aren't I, uh, awful? You are! But, I don't know if I want to vote for him. You won't get another chance like this. Kana doesn't have any wisdom and can't even hack. I told you to shut up, Kana. Please remember the first main game. We all choose Kai as the victim. For our survival, we didn't choose by feelings but logic. But wasn't that a mistake? Real failure is wavering. Not trusting your uh, belief is weakness. Stop it. And this time, the right thing is to choose logic so that you can escape. You should choose Kana. Just stop it! It's time to vote. I cannot wait any longer. Touch your voting tablets or everyone will die. Got it. Mr. Policeman, just voted for Connor. KG! Thank you very much. This ain't a joke. I'm ashamed of you, KG. Sacrificing a kid for the sake of adults. That's a demonic choice for you that you just can't make. I'm voting for so. Alice, you chose Connor, right? I can't choose anyone's little sister. 
Yeah, that's that's understandable. I'm voting for you, Shin. Fine by me. Now if we just vote ourselves, that's three to two. Again, uh, it should be an easy choice for you too, right? I, I do hate the loner, but it's not like I want him to die. Uh, if you don't choose me, I'll just use you next and you get you killed. Save in? Suggest a way out? I don't know a way out. You don't have to take responsibility again, big says Sarah. If you want, if you vote for Kana, it'll be tied three to three. Your vote won't cause anyone to die. But then, Big Cicera, your vote will. It's okay, Gin. I'll take responsibility. Nah, don't make me do it! Ah, uh, now I'm gonna be evil! My vote will decide everything. Oh, what do I do, guys? We did it, Sarah. Do you remember the conditions for the sacrifice to win? The sacrifice wins even if it's tied for first. Now, so has three votes. Kind of has three votes. And as the sacrifice, I can vote for myself twice. If you vote for me, that's three votes for everyone. And I could win by a tie for first. Say what? Let's return. Oh my god! She's trying to get us to survive! Yeah, so... So, so the so if the if the sacrifice wins, then they could pick a person to survive. Big Sarah, you won't do that, right? Oh. Oh my God! Can I save? Nah, bro. Let me save. I I saved not that long ago. I'm actually freaking curious. I want to see what happens. <laughs> I'll be awful if I do this, but I don't I don't want to pick them either. This is bad, man. Screw it. Let's mix things up, guys. Let's pick. I'd rather them both die than freaking uh, me picking one of them. Vote for now. Dude. It's gonna, there's gonna be a twist. Yeah, it's not gonna work that way. Oh, and it actually did. It actually did. So wait, what what would have happened? No, I didn't, nothing would have changed. Unless, okay. Thank you so much, Sarah. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I know, right? I'm laughing. Uh, I, I do, though. It's just hilarious, the fact that, like, I'm, <laughs> I picked an awful choice. I'll come back if it'll let me. I'm sure I can I can load the game. It's fine. It's fine guys. Don't worry Big sister you betrayed us Can't be serious. You wouldn't. Is that your answer Sarah? This is reality KG. The strong will tell you. I'm your ally. Don't be afraid. Trust me And in the end they'll betray you. Oh, I feel so awful I just I was so curious if it would actually work at the convenience of whims of the strong the weak will die well Learned a little something about how easy a weakling always feels. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I've gotten tired. I don't want to die. I just want to go home. I don't want to play this death game anymore. Even if it costs all of your lives. So goodbye. That's dark, dude. A series? A sea of red unfolds before my eyes. There is no salvation. Cheerfully, Cephalon carried out exacting executions one after another. Everyone's struggle and anguish screams. I didn't listen to them. There's no way I could. Keiji, Gen, Kana, So, Kitara, Alice. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, dude. How could you live with yourself? Sarah? Don't cry, Sarah. From now on, I'll always be with you. When we get home, I'll make you delicious meals. We'll sleep soundly, bathe in the morning sun, and go on walks together. Let's live happy, happy for everyone. It's okay, I'll bear this cross. You did nothing wrong, Sarah. You did nothing wrong. Oh, that's crazy, though. Sarah, you did nothing wrong. Ending one. All right, obviously we're not going to end it there. I just had to see... Okay, don't freak out on me. I vote for you, KG! Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> uh, so if I vote for so, will the game actually continue? Because I, I hardly believe that. I don't know why. Let's just, let's, let's just vote for so. What happens? I feel like you guys would want me to vote for her. 
I'm sorry, so Shin, whatever your name is. That's just fine, Sarah. You hated me enough to kill me, isn't that right? Oh god. They got a guild trip me, man? I did want to kill you. That's why you weren't mistaken at all. Well, then I'll announce the result. He thought it was funny. The key master was KG. Okay, so he didn't lie about that. The sage was Kitaro. Okay, so yeah, so he just wasn't a participant, I guess? That's why we were able to kill him? The sacrifice was now. Alright, so they were telling the truth. So this is your answer, Sarah. It's strange. I couldn't stop shaking from fear. But the moment you decided, that stopped. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't have to betray you all. Oh, I forgot to mention, the second card trade was me. I traded away the sacrifice card by using the token's Reko hat. Oh, so you took the tokens. So, protect, so Reko protected you once now. You were a close friend to Reko. There's no question of that. Thank you very much. I wonder if I'll meet Reko uh, and the professor over there. I wanted to finish that painting. Well then, it's time for the first execution. Wait. Miss Sarah, take this. This is an instant death switch. Unless you want her suffer to be long, you just have to press it. Oh, I forgot about this. Wait. Press it if I wanted to. Like, just press it to be awful. Don't push it. <laughs> like, uh, I can't even... Oh, God! Oh, God! Why am I pressing it? Wait, I forgot- I forgot if this is a good thing or a bad thing! Alright, now nah, just let it happen. Yo, I kinda- now I kinda wanna survive with her! <laughs> now expired. Professor, I'm sorry. The present I was going to give you, I still couldn't finish it. That's all right. You have plenty of time now. Uh... Man, nah, I, I missed the professor. That's like the one person I really didn't want to die in this game and they died. I couldn't push the button. To the very end, Nao said she didn't want to die. There was no way I could push it. Once again, I couldn't protect them. They died again. Next is so. Wait! Stop it already! Please! Please move aside. I need to activate the device. Don't kill so! Don't kill our ally, please! Ally? Worthless, so worthless. You don't have any last words, do you? I will begin the exit. I'm not gonna die. This is what I was hoping for! Woo, yeah, baby! He just took it off? Do you think I'll do what you want? Your collar? What? Exit's that way, huh? Uh, it's futile. This facility has a defense system. He disabled it. Holy crap! I actually didn't... I, I was hoping there'd be a twist, but I didn't know there was gonna be. Got weapons like this, too? Oh, wait, what? No dice after all. Pathetic. After all, after all I did. Maybe I should have believed in everyone. Miss Sarah, there's actually just one thing wrong in your reasoning. And I'll tell you what it is. My final present. Was he supposed to die? I think he would- he probably would have died no matter what, huh? Where did So go? My feet move as if guided by something. Something's calling me. So's body's limp. No! Even after you got your collar off? You said you wouldn't let the kidnappers do what they wanted, right? Please respond. I keep shaking him, but he isn't moving a muscle. He's not breathing. So has already expired. Even so, everyone just keeps dying. Whatever I do, as much as I struggle, as if it was all meaningless, I'm powerless. I can't stand up anymore. I hear a noise from the monitor. Why is this on, I wonder? Uh, that doesn't matter. I don't want to think anymore. Nothing is going to change now. My actions can't affect anything. Everyone is dying. Just like so. Something's off. 
Why is he in this position? Don't tell me so was trying to use this machine. Looking closely at the keyboard by his hands, there was bloodstains from him using it. Did so turn on this monitor? For what? I looked at the monitor. What? What? Is this some kind of joke again? There was a familiar face. The face of my best friend who I always saw in school. Is that Sarah? What's going on with me? Inconceivable. It's another hallucination I finally broken down. Because there shouldn't be an AI of Joe. But that doesn't matter to me right now. Joe, is that you? Yeah? I... Sarah. Wait, what? Okay. That's not skips. And he looks cool. What are you crying for? I... Couldn't do anything. I killed you. Even though you were my best friend. Sarah, but still. I vowed to everyone that we'd escape together. And yet, they've kept dying. Professor Mishima and Kai, Reko, and now and so... I can't protect anyone. I can't save anyone. I can't do anything. My heart has buckled under. Get a hold of yourself, Sarah. When you when did you become such a whiner? I mean, those tears don't suit you, Sarah. Why? You're so cold, Joe. You know? We were hanging out all the time before we even knew it, huh? Having stupid talks at summer breaks, buying junk food after school, getting Ryoko laughing at us. And when my grades tanked, you were the one freaking out. Sarah never asked to go study. Oh, and I remember all those dumb uh, requests you made uh, me sing at karaoke. I sang with all I had, so you were cracking up. Every day was super fun, man. And when bad stuff happened, it wasn't fun, and you were talking to me. Sarah, I feel nothing but gratitude for you. Gratitude? I don't know about all this betrayal or dying. Don't have any memory of that part. But I know this. You'll always make choices I can trust, Sarah. Joe, dude, this is, this is pretty sad, actually. <laughs> Were you thinking I hated you or something? Don't put me down, Sarah. I'm not your self-righteous uh, uh, guy. So don't cry anymore, Sarah. So cheeky. When you're Joe of all people. Sarah, believe in yourself. I'll always follow you. You know, like a dog. Ah, That's right. I guess I should say, uh, well, it's hard for a guy and a girl to say this sort of stuff to each other, but... I love you, Sarah. <laughs> You're my best friend! Ah, oh, dude. I always wanted to say that, too. Why am I getting emotional? Joe, you're my best friend! I won't cry anymore. I won't lose. Please, always watch me from close by. And the- Oh, and I killed- I killed so, man! That wasn't a tear, alright? I'm not wiping- It's not a tear I'm wiping away, I promise! Thank you, Joe. And also... So, I- I- I, I basically murdered him! It was always clinging to me, and he did that- He did that for me? Oh my god! Well, I saved me as and Sarah, but whatever. This false hallucination I created, but now... I won't look at it anymore. I'll move forward. And I'll end this death game. Sarah, I'm okay now. Big sis Sarah, that look on your face. I mean, he was so... Chin, whatever, went out such like a G, man. I, I, don't, I don't know. I kind of want to stay that way. But at the same time, I want to know more about him. We aren't going to kill each other anymore. They won't make us do that ever again. I'm going to end the death game. I'm on board, no matter how tricky your opponent. I'm going to fight too. I shall avenge Reko and now. I don't want anyone to die either. I'll make them learn so's uh, regret. I won't submit anymore. Everyone is prepared. We won't lose our way. Let's claim our future. Your turn to die, chapter two, ends. Holy moly, guacamole. <laughs> that was a long chapter. Who are you? Your father? What? Let's begin, shall we? What do you, the final death game? He was the thing, the guy, the mastermind? But why order Kai to protect me and this and that? What? Hey there, can you hear me? Yeah. 
Glad you responded. I'd like to know soon about the death game you're involved in. It's not anything too difficult, is it? I'm begging you. Did he trace memories? A normal high school girl, Sarah and her best friend Joe. Oh, it's just a recap. Okay. It's a nice little recap, though. Uh, it's kind of what I needed after taking a break. Which one of these two died? Was Reko Yabusa made the victim? Yes? Is this a quiz? Why is it quizzing me? As desperate as they tried to grasp the escape, their enemies gave their very lives to stop it. When the main game occurred once more, our student now died. Then another question. Which one of these two died? Yeah, I feel like I should still go back and, and try the other one, but... I mean, he went out such a good death. If, like, if you're gonna talk about a way to die, he, he was very noble. And it makes me want to know more about him, which is a good thing because I saved it. I can go back. After removing his collar, using the last of his strength, he started up a Joe, uh, a Joe AI. At last, Sarah united with her best friend. Because it provides such closure for her as well. The death game is not over yet. Six remain. Kana was always with her big sister. Because she loved her a lot. But Kana was always just a bother to her. Even that time when it mattered most, she couldn't do anything. So she thought that she was hated. But that message made her remember. Yeah, see, this was this was the real message, wasn't it? That surely her big sister was watching over her. That she had to stay strong on her own. But well, the truth is she knew that it wasn't her sister who wrote that message. There are people who try to protect Kana. There's people who work to encourage her. So she doesn't want anyone else to die. Oh, so he did it. I, I forgot. My memory's a little blurry about what happened, but I know that that message got changed. So this is what So wanted! Because they're all such good people. Shin. I don't know. I'm so used to call him So now. That was a freaking really good chapter. Everyone, this fl uh, floor will be closed off soon. Please proceed to the next floor quickly. Yeah, I know. Miss Sarah, could it be that you're cured? Of my hallucinations, you mean? I felt like I'd been having a bad dream. I tortured myself with hallucinations, hallucinations of my own making. But I've woken up now. I know, we won't lose to the likes of you! Right, best of luck then, Miss Sarah. Just what I've come to expect. You always stand right back up, Sarah. It's not like it's uh, my power alone. You mean so? Can't say I had a handle on I'm up to the very end because I kept getting used and falling for lies, but it's the truth that he had tried to protect Kana. Guess so. You yeah, gotta live on for his sake, Kana. Don't go thinking about self-sacrifice anymore. And for Big Sis now, sake too. That's why we gotta pull all the stops now. Then should we not head to the next floor now? I wouldn't care for my call or activating. We'll restart our escape plan once we're on the next floor. This time, let's escape for sure. I hope they do. I really do. Kana has clearly changed. I might say she's gotten stronger. With each sacrifice, we change. That's right, so no one's death will be in vain. Let's get a move on, everyone. Right, after you, partner. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's where I'm going to be ending it. Smash like for more Your Turn to Die. Uh, playing this actually makes me really want to finish this, like, faster now. So, yeah, and, uh... I think more just got released not that long ago, so yeah, uh, it's not over yet. But guys, thank you uh, so much for, for uh, if you have watched it, for returning. Appreciate you. See you guys in the next one. Bye now.